What's happening, everyone? Adam here. Just before we start, I've got to let you know that I am going to be at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival for three nights only, the 17th, 18th, and 19th of August at the Pleasant's Rear Courtyard doing a work in progress of my tour show that I'm taking on tour next year. If you go to pleasants.co.uk and just search Adam Rowe, or if you just click the link in the YouTube description or wherever you get your podcasts, it'll take you to tickets. Now, because of the way it's set up, there's only a room for 150 people. A lot of those tickets have already been sold already. You've got a book in groups of like two, four, six. They're sold in tables. If all the tables are two are sold out, try and get a table of four and bring a couple more mates with you. If I could do it differently, I would, I would but it's nothing to do with me, really. Uh, please come. Please come and watch me do some stand-up on the 17th, 18th, and 19th of August at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Three nights only. No other shows will be added up there. It's just these three. And I'll see some of you there. And if you're not coming, fuck you and your whole family. (laughs) All right, lads. Before we start this week's episode, I'm here to tell you about our latest sponsor, Coin Corner. Dot com. Now, they are one of the longest-running exchanges for cryptocurrency in Europe, and they're one of the best ways to buy and sell Bitcoin here in the UK. If you don't know what Bitcoin is, it's the number one cryptocurrency on the planet. It's been around for over a decade, and it's going mainstream. It's in the news every day. Celebrities like Tom Brady are tweeting about it. El Salvador's made it legal tender. If you want to get involved in the cryptocurrency game, the best way, in our opinion... To do that is to go to coincorner.com slash wordpod. You go there, they know we've sent you. You're getting in the cryptocurrency game. They know we've sent you. Everyone's winning. You're helping our sponsors. They're helping us. That's how the pod game works, okay? That's what we want you to do. Now, we've got to say this. When you invest in cryptocurrency, it's like stocks and shares. Your capital is at risk. Don't invest anything you can't afford to lose. Be safe. Don't be a fucking dickhead. Now, let's get back to the pod. You know, in like uh, those American films when yeah. they're in a high school, but like the actors are not high school kids. They're all 26 minimum. Isn't that Where's what he this looks going like? Yeah, I top? knew that. The second you said that, I was like, <laughs> cut to Carl. This is a beautiful. It is beautiful, but you do look like a 30 year old trying to play a 17 year old. What does he say? What does Joey say? It's whack, man. <laughs> <laughs> 10 things I hate about cars. Stop with the, the whack PlayStation. Stop. <laughs> Stop with the whack PlayStation. Um, yeah. Well, it's like you tried to make a classic Italian football kit into a kimono. I didn't make it. I know you didn't. I'm not a seamstress. <laughs> a seamstress? <laughs> but you are. That sounds like a euphemism for You slut. are a word nonce. I, mean, I think that. seamstress is a lady version, isn't it? Seamster, maybe. Is that the name? A seamster? Seems a strange. teamster. Teamster. Yeah. A hipster. It's from Art of Football. Get on them. They make some fight. I've got a PSG one as well. That I want to wear yeah. next week. Yeah. There's a new uh, Fiorentina one coming out with uh, from the late 80s Baggio Ballon d'Or era. No, maybe not. Of these? Yeah. Not. No, oh. I, I just like the T-shirt. Or the, or the, oh, right. I'm not wearing that. I don't know about that. Why? I'm not joining. Do you know what else you could be? I'm not you joining a bowling team. Shop. I look like I'm in a bowling team, I think. In a barbershop. A barbershop bowling team. A barbershop team. bowling team. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you're one of the barbers plays bowling. After. Hey, Vinny, what's the barber shop saying? Oh, but I'm Italian. Yeah, obviously, it's in New York. Yeah, it's in New York, of course. Bellissimo. <laughs> what does, bellissimo means fit, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's direct <laughs> translation. Fit. A bellissimo. What does that mean? Fit. <laughs> yeah, it looked good. Napoli. What is it? Mid eighties Napoli, Maradona's Napoli. Yeah, fit. And I've got the the. Uh, there's a Colombia one as well, and a um, a Boca one. Yeah, nice. A cocaine Trinity. Yeah. Hashtag not ad. By the way, they haven't paid me to say that. Hashtag not ad. And you dress like you've had a rough two weeks, and you just wanted to play it safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Adam's had a bit of a cunt, and he's like, I don't know what to. Sam, could you just get me a play black t-shirt? I don't think I'm emotionally ready for any banter about my clothes. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it's a fucking miracle he's not turned up in his gym gyms. Like, <laughs> I'm in my PJs, leave me be. I'm not going to do vape You look about five stone lighter, though. I have definitely lost a bit of weight. You have, fucking look at it. And um, I'm happy about that, and it's going to be the catalyst to keep losing a bit more again and get back into that absolute... Get AIDS. Wow, get AIDS next time. <laughs> You know, when you were like all upper body. <laughs> You've never seen Muscle Hamster Adam. Just check his Instagram. You'll be looking for a while because it's not there. You know, when I got like a. 
I got <laughs> fucking massive. Do you remember that? When I lost weight, but I, I got massive. Adam two tellies. Anyone worried about the cough? Apparently. So there's a... There's a fan. <laughs> <laughs> Cold. <laughs> I'm only the second. And I just realised how hilarious his name is. Go on. There's a fella called Tim Canary. <laughs> <laughs> no, there isn't. Tim Canary. <laughs> Tim Canary. No. <laughs> <laughs> Right. He's a listener to this podcast and he's a GP. He, oh. And he coached me through some of the... Dr. Canary. <laughs> Dr. Canary. <laughs> Fuck it, hell. With Nurse Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, uh, I thought of it until I went to see it. I just know, that's a perfectly good name. And he's told me, because I'm tested, well, like negative like four, four or five times in a row now. Uh, but the cough's obviously still there. And he's told me, because I'm asthmatic, I might be there for a while. Especially when I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a longer pod than usual. <laughs> you got a black t-shirt on. <laughs> Steve Harris. Fucking Mutley. <laughs> Catch the pigeon. <laughs> you haven't practiced talking, have you? What? You haven't been practicing talking, have you? No. It's a job as well, isn't it? <laughs> Been very quiet for ten days. Sam, Sam, we need to practice. You're not, you're out, you're not out of isolation for five days. Get on the dining table, face me at a weird diagonal, and just look off into the distance. Would you rather? Oh, um, yeah, well, welcome shade. back, man. Welcome back. It's good to fucking see you. It's good to see Finn. Finn's half asleep. Finn Boclohisian. My God, look at him. Great banter, and that's why you've not got a mic, <laughs> Finn. <laughs> Has COVID made you more dull? To me. I'm I wasn't ready. Um, but you're all right, COVID kids. Yeah, it was shite. Um, obviously, there was one night that I went to hospital. Um, because, so when I first got it, Freddie Quinn said, a uh, good bit of advice is to get an oxometer. Yeah. And, you know, it's that thing that you stick your finger in when you go to A&E, yeah. and they check your heart rate and your blood oxygen levels. And he was like, if that drops, then, you know, you know, it's time to ring an ambulance or you can just monitor. If you feel like you're struggling to breathe, if your oxygen levels sound, you'll calm down. But you had a good week of it not really being a problem. You tested yeah. positive and it was a while. And you were like, I'm not deteriorating particularly. Yeah. Next minute, you're like, I didn't want to stress you out, lads. But last night. Well, I coughed up a bit of like pink phlegm. Mama and I was like, like that. that could Mama be blood like. that. And you don't want to be coughing up blood famously. It's like not ideal. You know, <laughs> checking your diet for beetroot. Nah, I'm <laughs> fucked. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then Tim Canary said to me, <laughs> 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 said to me, uh, check your oxometer. And it had gone to like 90%. That's like 10% lower than 100. <laughs> <laughs> Carl, can you just check that? So it was 100. Um, yeah. As nah. a seamstress. <laughs> Can you work that out? Ninety percent. Yeah, yeah, ten yeah, percent yeah. lower. So he said to ring paramedics. Did they talk about an hour and a half to come, despite saying it'd be a maximum of forty-five minutes? Um, That's twice as long. Yeah, double. All right, let's privatize the cunt. Go on. I tell you what, right? It's something that you know not a lot of people say out loud, right? <laughs> and it's not the it's not the fault of the staff. The NHS can be a little bit shit sometimes. <laughs> wow. You've just noticed. <laughs> God bless them. They're trying. They're trying. They're trying. That night was genuinely the worst night of my life. Wow. And my mum is dead. And we need to remember that. And yeah. It was worse in the hospital. Yeah. That was a doddle because it was happening to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> this was me. It's fucking awful. Honestly, like, it would have been no less comfortable sleeping on a ladder compared to the bed that they put me on. Right. It was one of those ones that's in like a GP surgery, you know, where it can like fold up and whatever. But it's like, it's like sleeping on that, but with like right. fucking nuts and bolts in the middle of it. And and other people on the ward. No, Did I was you, in my own little sort of cupboard. Did you have your own cupboard? Cupboard. Yeah. Harry Potter. Essentially, it was a cupboard. <laughs> they gave me, they, they put me on that and they were like, hey, it's a, a five to seven hour wait. And I got really lucky because uh, there was a girl who recognized me who worked there, the nurse. Yes, mate, that's what she, you want. She she come in and she gave me a pillow and a little blankie. That was at like four hours in and took me bloods and she was like, you so are going to be waiting. Are you in a cupboard at this point? A cupboard with a bed and a table in it, yeah. But there was no blankie or pillow? No. Right. So I'd been there for like four and a half hours. I was so unbelievably exhausted, but could not sleep because it was just impossible. 
Like it was so unbelievably painful, this bed. And, and COVID makes you achy and uncomfortable. Oh, was, yeah. So she come in at half four, took me bloods and gave me some intravenous paracetamol. But then I was left then for another like seven hours. Like didn't see a doctor for a full 12 hours. Did you get like any scran or anything? Nothing. Like oh. it was awful. And it's just you because no one's allowed to be with you. Yeah. And right. at one point, I felt really sorry for this woman. I, I told her I needed to to- the toilet. She had to bring me a little commode <laughs> and I had to poo in a, <laughs> I had to poo in a bowl. A bedpan or a commode? What, what's the difference? A commode's like a wheelchair with a hole in a bedpan. That one. You poo in a commode with a, with a little cardboard poo poo yeah. commode. But like it's so shallow that yeah. I had to like really pace the poo because I was like, if I let this go at the speed that I normally let poos go, I'm going to paint the whole fucking cupboard. Disgusting. <laughs> Like, it was so shallow. If I'd have just let the ferocity out, it'd have just... The rev- ferocity! Why couldn't you go to the toilet? Because you're not allowed, because you've got COVID. Oh, right. You can't be fucking pooing COVID all over the hospital. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> the shit everywhere! Oh, my God, it's COVID shit! <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> oh, who cleaned your commode? The woman who was really, really rude to me, and to be honest with you, she kind of deserved it. I oh. know, but... You know, she's cleaning up shit. She's keep cleaning up COVID plops. She's not going to be like, "Good morning." Well, she come in. This what she come in to see me. At, this is what we play for. Sorry, she come in to see me at half ten in the morning. I'd been there since one o'clock, so this is like nine and a half hours in. Check that. <laughs> Check that. Half an hour. Uh, nine and a half hours. Yeah, <laughs> just got that checked independently by a seamstress. Um, oh no, not a seamstress. And she come in. And she went. She had like a real sort of. Short haircut, proper attitude on it. And look, I know they're doing a hard job. I'm not having a go. <laughs> um, Short haircut, said it all, didn't it? I mean, we're hinting at lesbian. We've not said it. We've not said it. You know, I don't know if uh, I don't know if they're allowed to wear Doc Martin's nurses, but this one did. She had a biker leathers. I, in fact, I'm I'm not sure she were there. I think she might have just been holding a sandwich box that Adam shat in, and that she, explains her mood. She went to him. When did you have your chest X-ray? And I went, um, I haven't had it yet. I haven't. I literally haven't seen a doctor since I got here. She went, I know. You're not going to see a doctor till you see a doctor. And I went, because I'd lost my patience at this point. So I went, I know how seeing doctors work. <laughs> <laughs> one nil. That's one nil. This isn't my first canary-based rodeo. <laughs> um, she, she went, you won't see a doctor till you see a doctor. You can't just turn up at A&E and just get seen. I want to right. go. No, you can. That's that's what happens. Oh, yeah. oh, you should have said you'd spoke to the canary. <laughs> he doesn't work at that hospital. You're in, you're in a psych ward in five minutes. <laughs> Speaking to the canary all night, he said to come here. One of our patrons is a canary, <laughs> Dr. Canary. And he said that I'm all right. <laughs> what does she mean? You can't just turn up at Amy and expect to see a doctor. Well, it's not going to happen at Halfords, is it, dickhead? Why, you know, <laughs> come on. You can't just turn up at a swimming bath and expect to get wet. <laughs> Fucking twat. <laughs> now, I'm riding on out of here with your poo sample. <laughs> <laughs> Bike a nice swim bath. Right. Wow. She sounds like a, a, a large uh, a twat. Yeah. And then... Uh, <coughs> Let me chest x-ray and they basically went are we seeing the end of this podcast <laughs> I don't know <laughs> by the end of this Adam's going to be pooing in a commode in the corner <laughs> yeah and they went yeah it's definitely COVID and I was like <laughs> 11 hours for that <laughs> what could it have you, have you how do you know you don't need another test I've got your sample yeah not good <laughs> in this and then what you got to yeah. go on they gave me steroids Oh, that's why you're getting fucking jacked. <laughs> Adam, you all right? I was a COVID fucking nightmare, meat. <laughs> Nearly died. But look at these fucking arms. <laughs> and antibiotics. And sent me home. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely a bit worried about you. I don't think you were ready for us having this much fun. <laughs> I, honestly, I'm glad Sam is not here to see this because she'd be like, right, this is over. Get Mulholland in. <laughs> Oh, God. So that was your night in hospital. Mm-hmm. What, did it just get... So the night before, the day before, were you just getting worse and worse? You ch- or was no. your health anxiety no. kicking in? I was fine. 
The only reason <laughs> Laura went, he's had a panic attack. <laughs> he's had a panic attack. He's got he's got in his own head and he's had a panic attack. I was like, I sort of thought if you've got the asthma and then the COVID and you could sort of cook yourself into it. No, but I was doing quite well with my health anxiety and stuff. And then I just had a really bad cough and fit. Like most of me coughs <coughs> have been that. Right. And I had this massive cough and fit that you know when you you know when you cough so much you throw up. Yeah. But I hadn't ate for like two and a half right. days. There was nothing to throw up. You can't so, get rid of the cough, can you? It's yeah. just like won't so go. So it was phlegm, but the phlegm was pink, and I was like, ugh. Could be, could be heart failure if anything. Could be. <laughs> that's a, that's a heart failure. It's a big cough. Yeah, you heart failure. You start if cough. you get heart failure, you cough up blood, and it's pink. The Google say that. Yeah. Thought so. Now a word from our new sponsors, Renny. Um, <laughs> I'll deal with For it. For half hour? Yeah, yeah. I'll deal with it. That's the first thing you think of. <laughs> this For is half probably Harbour. Have an ah. antacid? Yes. <laughs> half hour, yeah. Rennie's. I would. I Baby would. If I started gold. having a heart attack, I'd be like, oh, this is probably just a bit of heartburn. I thought I was having an heart attack on the way here today, but I just needed a bussy. <laughs> <laughs> just a bit hungry. <laughs> Well, nine, nine, nine. We'll get a meal deal. <laughs> One of the two. I have to stop at the spa. So, how do you get checked out of the old COVID ward? Like, what does Sam well, have to do? Just... Ward. I was, I was in one of the cupboards in A and E. Right? Do they not have a COVID ward? They might do if you get admitted. Right, you've got to see a doctor for that properly. You're yeah. in the wrong place for that, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. I was just in a cupboard. Uh, being like, it wasn't a cupboard. It was a room. But it was a small one that looked like a cupboard. And then you got out, went yeah. home, and then you've gradually been feeling better, getting hench on the steroids, yeah? Yeah. Watched every Harry Potter. One, yes. two, three, four. All the, yeah, all the numbers. Yeah. And feeling good. Started. Feeling what? better? Feeling all right? Yeah, it's just the coughs do me, I did And I'm nervous about coughing around people because then people are like, has he got COVID? And I'm like... I haven't, I've just added. And that that's just people, people not understanding what's, like, if you go on the government website, I would have thought, like, we did it to Lauren Patterson. She turned up with a cough and we were like, bruh, bruh. but, like, if you are genuinely out of isolation and you've done your time, you're not, you can't give it anyone, but the cough can linger for ages, can't it? Yeah. Um, let's fucking hope so, because I do not want to go back. And Finn, I think, is still in there. Yeah? I'm just wiped out. I, I've not had a cough, at, really, at all. I didn't have the those symptoms. I just had, like, flu. 22 years old, and it's put you on your back side. Yeah, have, you had a, have you had a jab? I'd had one jab as well. <laughs> Welsh jab. I'd, I'd advise people, <laughs> go and get vaccinated. Don't. What do, you, what do you reckon, Carl? Carl? I reckon it's exacerbated by smoking jazz cabbage. Oh, uh. <laughs> Have you been on the marijuana cigarettes? So I will be honest. When when oh, I was feeding, oh here like, we go. When I was feeding, I didn't have the disgust. Well, when I had the when I was feeding a bit lower uh, or like just rough, that was perking me up. I think anyone that has ever had that before can probably attest to it. Kind of making you feel not there, so you kind of feel so you had bad. COVID. You were like, oh, I feel shit. I'm it's gonna only one medicine. I'm gonna yeah. blaze up. It, those were my words to my brother. Uh, he was like, how long before you blaze? And I said, I already am. I had one in my hand. You sound cool as fuck. He must Julie. be stoned as fuck if he couldn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, are you going to blaze? <laughs> Is he here? <laughs> you and your brother sound cool as fuck, but you both live with your mum in real. <coughs> no, no, no. No, oh. I texted him. Oh, right, right. Yeah. When are you going to blaze up, son? You know I'm going to blaze. <laughs> COVID ain't stopping me blazing. Whoa, whoa. Smoke weed every day. Keep it down, Finn. Keep it down. All right. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but... Was that meant to be my mum? Yeah. I can't it's... do North Walian. North Walian? Neither can I, really. That's is Walian a thing? North Walian is... Yeah. 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 Is it? It's very... I'm the North Walian accent sounds like that. They all, oh, yeah. All the farmers, they talk like this. <laughs> I could do an impression of Kiri doing an impression of the people she went to school with. That's it. That's about right. That's about right. Yes. Do you like smack? I live in fucking Carnarvon. Of course I like smack. I didn't think North <laughs> North yeah. Welsh people had, uh, had much accents, really. I just thought they were just like, bear. Right. You know what I mean? What? You That's just met... rail. Rail is very, it's like a mongrel town. It's just a bit of everywhere. Yeah. So that's kind of... 
given me this neutral nowhere accent right but if you keep going five minutes down the road you're into full inbred farmer territory and they all talk like this oh they all talk like that yeah, that like... happened in ballad actually when i went with sam yeah Bala. They, they all talk like that yeah is aberyst with a bit more uh yeah so because that's west wales isn't it is that a bit more singy songy it, it literally gets less nasally the further down right, the country right. you go you and then you get to like barry island south south yeah. south and then it's Gavin and Stacey. And, and that. that's the Welsh impression everyone does. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the Welsh, Welsh impression I I've been doing to North Walian people. I wonder week. where the last Welsh accent is. I wonder if there's like a little tiny island between Wales and Ireland where there's just like six people with like dead, unbelievably sing songy Welsh accents because you've gone past. Like, there's a Bali. Welsh community in Argentina. Sorry. Yeah. No, we're not letting that go. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? Do you think there's an island in between <laughs> Wales and Ireland? A little undiscovered. Who knows if we'll ever? How you can we you know? Don't know? You haven't checked. How you, would we know? <laughs> how would we know in you that don't know. fucking fifty miles straight of water whether there is an undiscovered people of half Welsh, half Irish people that have never been passed by one of the. 10 million ferries that have crossed there. Maybe they just died when boats are going past so they don't get seen. Hide in the water, <laughs> under the water. <laughs> just quilt. Fucking hell, boys. There's a ferry. Is that your Welsh Irish? Get in the water, quilt. Right, do a Welsh Irish right now. I'll be so fucking I know impressed. that was great. No, You could call them Irish. Oh, Jesus, no. I tell you, <laughs> I can see a boat coming. It's a beautiful one. You've just got to change it halfway through the Code fucking... Switch. Maybe they're getting yeah. like TV signals from both Ireland and... Uh, mainland Britain and they're looking at like stuff and going it looks shit there the six of us we're sound we've got a farm we've got bread we don't need any oil always with the farm <laughs> Adam put bread is vital farmers <laughs> oil farmers small island quilts invisible quilts how many Harry Potters did you watch how many Harry Potters did you watch a whole weird Welsh Irish fucking <laughs> quickly a fairy I think it's possible. There might be. Yeah, could be. You don't know that it's No, there. I don't. I haven't sailed the Irish Sea more than five times. All of it. Oh, no, exactly. You have not done no, that. No, exactly. God, let's hope they invent some kind of satellite one day that we'll be able to see the sea. You no. Know, but I'm not saying we don't know the islands then. I'm saying maybe we just assume it's uninhabited. Right. So your version of the Lost City Atlantis is some weird Welsh-Irish farmland where they've gone, fucking hell, let's hide. We've got great bread. That sounds about right to me. Right, yeah, it sounds fucking spot on. Spot on. Coronavirus has had more side effects than I think we're giving it credit for. <laughs> what? What? What about the islands between Wales and Ireland? <laughs> Dr. Canary has given me a prescription <laughs> of DMT, and I've taken it. Took it in a cupboard. Shat on a wizard. Um, oh, my God. We don't know where the last Welsh person is. Where the last Welsh person. Yeah, where does he live? Hollyhead. <laughs> <laughs> Haverford West. Oh, but, like, there's got to be a last one. There's got to be a first Yeah, one. like the last house. Oh, how annoying would that be? If, like, it was some guy right at the far bit of Haverford West who had a house... And then some cunt called Rodri was like, I'm going to fucking move slightly past you. And you're like, where are you going? I want to be the last Welshman. Fuck <laughs> off. That's my job. And then you're just teetering towards the edge. And then Do you reckon there's it anywhere island? in the world where like someone's been born and they, they've just got an unexplained accent? Like, let's say there's someone in like Peru, but they're just Italian. <laughs> right. So their parents are Peruvian. I mean, could you tell the difference? Long line of Peruvian. And then this baby's first wife was just, oh, it's a meatballs. <laughs> Two words. I Italian American. Because <laughs> that wasn't Italian. What? Hey, I'm born in Rome. Oh, I got fucking meatballs there. Um, Bellissima. What does that mean? I haven't got a fucking clue. I imagine it's great titties. The first word is a question. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you literally did Joey from Friends as Italian. Well, okay, well it's then. the it's the, the meatballs. What are the Speaking in English. Well, I don't know the Italian, so no, I can't do that, can true. I? Well, you know one word. Bellissimo. Fiorentina. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> A Paolo di Gagno. 
Locatelli. Yeah, if you baby just... say first words, I'll parlo the cameo. <laughs> Bonjour. No, it's a, it's classic, isn't it? Whenever you run out of like the words <laughs> of Italian, like uh, spaghetti, bolognese, pasta, arribi- penny arribiata, Roberto Baggio. Good play. But imagine that. Right. <laughs> imagine that. Imagine. Are you watching that? But it's like the brain injuries, isn't it? Where all the yeah. they're the good ones, they're yeah. the great ones. When someone like falls Do off they a have motorcycle, to be good at the accent before like, what? Do you know if you had a brain injury, and you're famously bad at what? no. But I don't think anyone's charting like like Susan was in a car crash, and then when she woke up, she was like, "Hello, <laughs> oh, I got really bad hair. Oh, the car just came out of nowhere." That's Susan. Stop doing that. You're from Norfolk. I mm. know. Uh, but now I'm from China. And my, but she's like, I am from Norfolk. I'm from Norwich. But she's doing the Chinese accent. Mm. I don't think anyone would be like, to be fair, Susan always was shit at the Chinese accent. And we were like, stop being racist in this restaurant. Are you leaving me hanging on this? <laughs> <laughs> Absolute on. pack of cups. <laughs> Whoa, we're not leaving you anywhere. I'm I'm just trying not to laugh so that I don't cough. I'm taking it in. Um, <laughs> but they do. They wake up from a trauma, like yeah, a yeah. brain injury, and yeah. then they've like... Yeah, Chinese foreign accent syndrome. <laughs> what is it? What is it called? It's called foreign accent syndrome. It actually is called... Tom Segura does a great routine about oh, it. Oh, yeah, amazing. Yeah. It's called foreign accent syndrome. It is. Uh, where the patients develop speech patterns that are perceived as a foreign accent, different to their native accent. The, the one of the women that you're... The, you, you know that's a real example, the one you're saying. Yeah, I, do you know what? I've seen the Segura bit, and it's sort of... It's one of those bits that sort of just, like, manoeuvred its way to the back of my mind. And as I was saying that, I was like, oh, this feels familiar. But she was, was from... She, the, was she English? Uh, yeah. it's, it's an Australian lady. Oh, no, it's wrote, not. No, she, an Australian lady, but with an Irish accent. Yeah, but the, the English Chi- woman yeah, yeah. was Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. And I've seen the video of her. But it's not just, like... Because when I first heard of it, I was like, it's obviously just like damaged their speech. And she says certain things, you know, that sound vaguely like they might be coming from a Chinese person. But she's got like the, um, do do you know, like the imitations of broken English from a Chinese person? Yeah. Like Steve McLaren when he got the FC20 job. I heard it is. Oh my God. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle, a British woman who went to sleep with a migraine, woke up feeling like a completely different person. 38 year old Sarah Caldwell was rushed to the hospital (laughs) in 2010 because of severe episodic migraines. During her recovery, she woke up with a Chinese accent. She literally woke up, opened her mouth. And it was not her oh voice. Oh my god, that, that is a bit Norfolk, isn't it? And the 55th B, sweet and sour chicken, Hong Kong style. And it's just been such a horrible thing to go through. She was diagnosed <laughs> with foreign accent syndrome, a rare neurological condition with no clear cause. The Inquisitor reports others who have suffered from the same change just in voice talk had to her. severe migraines. <laughs> don't, I don't care about the stats, Plymouth. Talk to her. <laughs> One explanation for the just new tongue to is that her migraines, which she experiences so as many as 10 times or more per month, oh. are leaving her with neurological yeah. damage. The condition oh, usually follows up, traumatic Musi. brain injury or a stroke. Those with FAS also experience experience loss of vocabulary, but Caldwell is not alone in her struggle. 52-year-old Talk Kay to Russell, her. pictured here talking to Caldwell, oh. woke up with a French, oh, French accent after suffering a migraine as well. And singer George Michael oh, says off. he woke up from a coma with a temporary West Country accent in 2012. We heard so, yeah, the snippet of it anyway. Clear yeah, the, the, there is other videos that you can find of her, and, but she speaks in broken English. She doesn't go, she, it's not like she's going... I woke up with a Chinese foreign accent. She's going, I woke up Chinese foreign accent. Like she, she misses the syllables and the, the, um, you know, like the letter A, cause it's, that's in our alphabet, but not in, in our vernacular, but not theirs. She misses bits out that Chinese people would miss out. It's so unbelievably funny. <laughs> How long does it last? Is it there forever? She, or she's got, it's, it's, a brain, it's a brain injury, isn't it? What would you like to wake up with if you could? <laughs> what? If you if it, this has happened to you, but you could choose the accent, what accent would you choose? Italian. Oh, what am I doing here? <laughs> I've just fallen off my fucking motorbike, you cullets. I think it'd be ideal to just have a different scouse one. Let's not upset anybody. What? <laughs> 
What, Southern what Scouse. If you, what if you woke up sounding a bit Birkenhead? You'd be gutted, uh, wouldn't yeah. you? You'd rather be Zambian. Southeast Asian. <laughs> Caribbean. Right. Zambian. Oh, Zambian. Do, do your Birkenhead. Do your wool. Do your sort of... From... It's very hard to from do. From Birkenhead. Oh, yeah. Pimbo. Right. Pimbo. Skimmer you would rather be like, you, oh, my God. I, I oh. sound terrible, but at least I don't sound like I'm from Brumbra. Yeah. I, I think it'd be quite funny to end up waking up with a, a nondescript accent like that and just watching other people deal with me. Comedian Adam Rowe was in a cupboard in a hospital in Liverpool for <laughs> over seven hours, received <laughs> steroid treatment for COVID-19, and woke up the next day speaking in an Indian accent. <laughs> we uh, interviewed Adam at his home. <laughs> Adam, thanks for speaking to Newsy. Um, <laughs> has it affected your career at all? Some people think I'm taking the piss, <laughs> but I'm not taking the piss. I can't help but talk like this anymore. <laughs> it is very much a problem. When I'm going to shops, oh. they are looking at me saying, this is not what you sound like. Your face does not match your voice. Mate, I, the, I, there'd be a lot of shops I would no longer go in. If I were you, <laughs> like, should we just go in that shop on the corner? No. <laughs> Probably go to Tesco or Sainsbury's. I'm going I may to go to a bigger establishment. I'm going to use the self service checkout. <laughs> Adam, we're going for a food tonight. Should we book a restaurant? What do you fancy? <laughs> we'll eat in. Where do you want to go? <laughs> I'm thinking Chinese, uh, Mexican, maybe burger place. <laughs> What about hey, wow? Why don't they just put voices on? Why doesn't she just do an impression of her old self? That's solve it all problems. She's not good at accents. <laughs> Why doesn't she just? Because she'd have an English accent with a Chinese twang, which I'm is bananas. I'm not joking. I've never wished for a brain injury on someone more than Adam waking up going. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I tell you what, I'm going to have to rewrite the first five minutes of this set. <laughs> What's happening, white people? <laughs> And with that, let's speak to a sponsor. What's happening, guys? Just before we start this week's episode, I want to let you know, if you love this podcast and you want more of it, you can get an extra episode every single week exclusively on patreon.com slash haveawearedpod. If you don't know what Patreon is, it's basically a way for you to financially support this podcast whilst also getting some benefits for yourself in return. You can sign up for three quid a month, five quid a month, ten quid a month, and obviously the more money you give, the more benefits you get. But even if you just sign up for that three quid a month, which is the price of a fancy coffee or a pint in a ship boozer, you get an extra episode every single week, exclusive. No one else gets to see it apart from the Patreons. And you also get 24 to 48 hours early access to the public episodes as well. That's what you get. And on top of all of that, you get access to the entire back catalogue of the Patreon episodes. We've been doing that for like a year now. There's Loads of content there. There's also the two lockdown lock-ins we did in this room where we got dead drunk. They only go on Patreon. The ones we do in the future of them will only go on Patreon. If you support us, you get shit loads of content for us and you can only get it at patreon.com slash haveawearedpod. Go sign up now, pause it here, sign up, and then come back to this episode. It's going to be a belter. So no one's prepped. I've done a bit. It's on me holidays, getting fucking ribbed by, by my brother-in-laws. What? Absolutely hounded by the cunts. Ribbed? Ribbed. Oh. Just because I'm bummed? a comedian. Do you, do you get this? Do you get this when you're like, people are like, he's a comedian and loves banter. And you're like, on a family holiday, on day three of the banter, like, I felt like my brother-in-law Fraser was fucking starting to get to the point where I was going to go, shut the fuck up. Like, he was leaning in. He was just like, you don't do much with the baby, do you? Laura does a lot, don't you? Isn't she? And I was like, yeah, we've got a little system, you know? Like, I do this and she does that, but she wants to do most of it because she knows how to do it. She, she's got a set way of doing it. And then it developed to like, man, you need to do a bit more with a baby, don't you? <laughs> and then it ended on him basically going, Laura's a single mum. <laughs> hard work as a single mum. And it was just starting to, and you can't, because you're a Don't comic. Don't punches that in. You can't, as a comic, be like, shut up, hey, it's not funny, ring my holiday. So he fucked off, and then my other brother-in-law turned up, and he, was, and he watches the pod, he's into it, and he's like, fucking Patreon money bags over here. <laughs> How many fucking patrons you got now? And I was like, yeah, we're doing quite well. Oh, fucking money bags. And I had three days of being called fucking Scrooge McDuck. 
So, yeah, I didn't do any prep. I've been chasing children around a fucking farm in Ab- uh, in Anglesey. Your children? Uh, no. <laughs> no? No, Welsh children. Right. <laughs> yeah. Because you can't get done for paedophilia in another country, can you? International right? waters. Oh, I don't think they extradite from Anglesey, do they? No. 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 Finn, Finn, famous sex criminal. <laughs> famous. Famous. Famous sex criminal. Famous sex criminal. <laughs> Posters everywhere. I'm Finn. Fucking hell. Sex criminal. That bald cunt's chasing us again Roll the fab. Is that good? Any good? Right. Yeah, cheers, mate. Um, so, no, I've not done any prep. Uh, That's some question. Have you done any prep? What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Finn? Finn! Are you awake? Finn's awake. Yes, I'm yes, awake. yeah, yeah. Carl, have you got some prep? Uh, before got before a, we do touch. that, You're can we can we legs, have a mate. word with uh, people about this Patreon thing? Oh, I right. Can I just? I can we go good cop, bad cop? Because I feel like you've been doing a lot of the admin, yeah, and it's been starting to do your editing, yeah. So what I, Adam's going to no, do? No, no, I'll do it. I'll Adam, do it. Adam will no, do it, and I'll just I'll just soften off the edges. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah. So you say what you need to say about the OG Patreon thank you show, August the fifteenth. And I'm just going to try and, in the little breaks, just soften off the edges because I've felt via the WhatsApp, via the email responses, you get in a little bit fucking annoyed. It's not that I was getting annoyed. It's just that some of our followers are thick as pig shit. But we appreciate them and we <laughs> yeah. want to keep that Patreon. Fastest growing Patreon in the UK, possibly the world. And we're getting great numbers and we love you and want to retain you. Go ahead. So uh, when <laughs> a lot of you are new to the podcast, uh, if you are a, an OG, you'll know. When, you first, uh, when we first launched Patreon, Back in March 2020, there was no benefits to signing up. The only benefit you got was the promise of a free ticket to a, a future live thank you show. Uh, those tickets uh, have... The, the ticket link has been sent out to all eligible bachelors and bachelorettes this week. Uh, so if you have not received an email with that ticket link and you signed up for Patreon... Before the end of May 2020, then email haveawordpod at gmail.com and just say, I haven't got my ticket link. Tell us when you signed up. We'll check it. And if we've missed you off by mistake, then we'll send you the link. If you signed up from the 1st of June 2020 up until right now, you're not eligible for one of those free tickets. You won't be getting sent a link. But there are going to be some spare tickets for this event and they're going to be on sale for £15 each on Friday, the 6th of August at 10 a.m. The that ticket includes link, a drink. That includes a drink. Includes everyone who's coming to get a, a drink upon entry. So those tickets will go on sale on Patreon only on Friday, the 6th of August at 10 a.m. Uh, on the Monday following, if there's any tickets left, we'll then put them out to the public. That's what's going to happen. If one more person emails and goes, I haven't got my ticket link, I've been signed up for three weeks now, right. then I'm just going to delete your pledge and block <laughs> you on every social media. You'll never get to listen to the podcast again. You're all driving me mad. Okay, but we appreciate you, and it's <laughs> great being the fastest growing podcast <coughs> yeah. patron in the UK. And yeah. so stop being a little bit tardy in places. A little mm-hmm. bit. Just a little bit. Where's my link? I signed up two days ago. Why don't I get free ticket? <laughs> I'm sending an email. Um, but we appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks for your support. So just to recap, if you signed up before the end of May 2020... That's last that, year. That's, that's last, last year. year. right? That's not this year. Over a year ago. There's different numbers. Then you should have a ticket link. And if you don't, you need to email us before Thursday this week, before Thursday the 5th of August, because that is when that ticket link is going to expire after that, they're going on sale to patrons, and after it's been on sale to patrons, it's going on sale to the muggles. By, person. By the, oh, sorry, go on. It's not an arbitrary line in the sand, by the way, because from that point, before that point, actually, everyone that signed up from Patreon got an extra episode every week. There was exclusive content from that point on. The people who signed up from mid-March through to mid-May, if they hadn't signed up, that 450, 500 patrons, if they hadn't signed up, Adam and I would have had to Stop. find work, like, Everyone else I know in the comedy <coughs> industry that didn't have some form of like Patreon or like support from something else. So many good comics had to hustle and find jobs, and then this wouldn't be where it was. So if you're like, why do these get uh, um, a thank you show? It's because they kept the fucker afloat, helped us flourish, and by the Out middle of the, goodness of the their summer, wallets, yeah, they I'm, weren't getting anything for it. They weren't getting the extra episodes. They weren't getting early access. The, the Patreon structure that's in place now, that's been in place for a while, 
wasn't there when these people supported us. That's why they're getting free tickets, and that's what they were always promised. We love you all. We really do. There'll be more thank you shows. London, uh, we've got plans to do extra ones here, there, and everywhere. We're not necessarily going to do a tour in the next sort of six months or whatever, but we might just cherry pick some one-off live shows. We're also going to put more content on the Patreon. If you've signed up and you're like, oh, I feel like I've missed out on the OG thank you show. There's loads of opportunities coming up to see us live. At the start of the episode, you saw the Adams at the Edinburgh Festival. We'll be doing it maybe one-man shows. And then there's extra content going on the Patreon. We've got the, well, some form of rap battle or roast. We're going to be developing that. We've got some maybe recorded shows that we're going to put up there. And then maybe later in the year, lock in. Extra content will be going up there. But for, for this one, it's just a very specific set of criteria to get the tickets. And on uh, Sunday, the 19th of September, uh, the Underbelly Festival sales, the Underbelly Festival in London, it sold out very quickly the first time we put it on sale. I believe as of right this second, there's about 50, 60 tickets uh, available. Jesus so Christ. if you go to the Underbelly so Festival website and search Have A Word Live, you can book the remaining tickets there. Can we put a, a link to that in the description on YouTube? Is that possible? Yes. Thank you. So, appreciate you. Um, Carl's got some prep, thank fuck. Best was... person to email wrong gets shot as well. That's I'm it. not answering anyone else. If you And if you answer, if anyone emails and asks a question that has been already answered three or four times, you're just getting ignored I'm and bored. I might answer. Don't mind answering. You're right, babe. Don't worry about it. Difficult, isn't it? Have you had a brain trauma? Do you speak in a weird <laughs> accent? Where are my tickling? <sighs> Why I not have tickling? I sign up Tuesday, twelfth of June, twenty twenty one. Why I not get? Why I not be invited to Adam's thirtieth birthday? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> it's good to be back in it. Yeah, nice to have you back. This is worth dri driving back from a. Fucking Welsh farm for you it. Genuinely, is. Come go on. Uh, I've got a question. Who would you put? Is it weird that Carl isn't reading that from anyone? Yeah, Carl's just like, out of his I've, mind. I've got a question. <laughs> what do you want to do Wednesday? Do you want to get some food? <laughs> Who would you put on your comedy Mount Rushmore? Oh, oh, so oh! Four, isn't there? Um, men. Four heads. Um, <laughs> I'm only messing about. Patrice O'Neill. Right. Um, you can have your own one, Dan. Don't worry. Richard Pryor. Um, but you, sound you, can, you can tell we're very American based. Richard Pryor. You can tell we're really American based. Chappelle now. Chappelle. Okay. And it's a black Rushmore. <laughs> 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 and Bill, any, you wanna, any come on, you, you want to just... put old Billy Red Nuts yeah. on there? Four American comics, yeah, yeah, right, okay. Honorary mention, <laughs> Randy Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's very much appreciated, Adam. <laughs> Andy Parsons. I watched it on one. YouTube. Someone tagged me in, and I thought oh, that was a really nice compliment. <laughs> Fuck me, that guy. Andy Parsons. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's, he's, he's taking fucking, he's taking the money for parking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill, Richard Pryor. Who are you going, Dan? I'd have Billy Connolly up there because for me, without him, I don't know where, where we are as British comics. I think his influence is so huge. The audience the, with Billy Connolly is phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah. And some of the stuff, <coughs> some of the stuff that I saw as a kid was just before I saw anyone else doing it, and and then you get to watch the old stuff that was fucking amazing. Him on Parkinson's, what what? Him um, on Parkinson. 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 Him, oh dear, he does have Parkinson's, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. No. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, I've made myself sad. <laughs> Oh dear, my my Mount Rushmore is just Parkinson's sufferers. <laughs> Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Pele? No, I'm um, uh, Ali. Sorry, Ali. Pele? <laughs> <laughs> you fucking hate Pele. Pele got Parkinson's. 
He's, he's claimed all sorts of diseases that he hasn't got. <laughs> and goals, cunt. He's a fraud. Yeah, I <laughs> know. You, you, you just have to prod <laughs> Carl on a few things that he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pele, oh, fuck off. Right, so you've got... Billy Connolly is a, ma a master, isn't he? Yeah. An absolute master. Uh, well, uh, uh, let's twist it then. Who's on your UK Rushmore? UK That's Rushmore. That's harder. UK Rushmore. Connolly's definitely on there. Yeah. And are you talking what you think everyone would accept? Because if you do your own personal Rushmore, <laughs> you could be like, well, I personally think Nick Helm is amazing. Like, that's not, that's not valid, is it? I think you've got to be able to argue that they are not only big to you, but that they've influenced comedy enough to be on Rushmore. Yeah. Right, so Mount, Rush, Mount Rushmore is, is basically a, a side of a mountain that someone's chiseled in the four, what they perceive as the four greatest American presidents. So there's Lincoln, Washington, Obama, Reagan, and Reagan. Is that right? <laughs> Reagan and Nixon. Nixon's the honorary mention doing the park. Nixon yeah, taking yeah. and he's taking he's the parking money. money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that right? That yeah. seems right. Yeah. Jill, Jilly Bean, fucking American. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna Google it just so. Enough. Roosevelt, FDR. Do you reckon they'll ever like change it? Do you reckon they'll ever Not like Teddy Roosevelt, Franklin. Uh, oh. Roosevelt, Washington, Lincoln, and Jefferson. Oh, no, it is Teddy Roosevelt. Thomas Jefferson's coming home. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh here we go. Oh, Thomas Jefferson. Where do you know that from, Adam? <laughs> Fucking tell me. Tell me where you know it from. <laughs> is Hamilton on the wall? No, he's not. He wasn't a president. Yeah, he wasn't a president. <laughs> he was the fourth American president. Or was he? No, he fucking wasn't. The fucking belt him out, innit? Do you reckon they'll ever change it? Do you reckon they'll ever, like, turn one of them into Obama or something? No. Nope. Um, <laughs> can I just say, it looks like Lincoln's, like, on his own, and then the three are, like, a deformed, you know, like... the that Tom Selleck? <laughs> <laughs> you just made me stop from my nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna ask, that's Tom fucking Selleck in the middle, innit? Thomas Jefferson. No, not, no, the one on the right is definitely Lincoln. Yeah. The yeah, one on the left is textbook George Washington. Yeah, but the one like that's third Tom left, Selleck. That's Tom Selleck. <laughs> that's Tom Selleck dressed as Dracula. No, not Dracula, <laughs> Frankenstein. And who's that in the middle? That's Modric. Jefferson. That's Luca Modric. And Luca Modric. <laughs> <laughs> the Americans are like, fuck Jefferson. <laughs> Luca Modric has done such a great job in Won the Ballon d'Or? The... He did, didn't he? You won the Ballon d'Or. Who the fuck is a borderline defensive midfielder and wins the Ballon d'Or at 32? Good on her. Um, Good on you. Um, right, so George Washington, Luka Modric, <laughs> Tom, Selleck. Tom Selleck, and Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> Walk into a part. <laughs> so who's on... <laughs> who's... <laughs> <laughs> you can't unsee it. George Washington looks like he's just found out. He's pissed off. <laughs> he's next to Luca Modric and Tom yeah. Selleck. Well, Washington's a massive, massive Barcelona fan, Not having it. <laughs> right, so Connolly's there. Who's going here, Dan? British comics. Nah, this is going to get fucking hounded. But I... Who, Billy Connolly. I don't think anyone predates Billy Connolly in terms of stand up. We're talk. We're not just. We're not talking the history of all comedy, are we? No stand up. We're just talking stand up. Yeah. So I think Connolly's the starting point. Victoria Wood. Yeah. She. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I never love. I, 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 she was great, wasn't she? But can't do it. I won't do it. Yeah. yeah. She was like the only. I don't know. She was the only. Tommy Dubois back. Amazing. Has COVID made you more retarded? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Can't live on an island between Wales and Ireland. I can't do it. Tommy can't Cuba. find the quilt. Right. Ah. Oh, 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 now we're talking. Tommy if Cooper. now we're talking, is Tommy Cooper, where's Les Dawson? Because Les Dawson. <laughs> Where is he? Should be here by now. Today's guest, the ghost of Les Dawson. When he opens the piano, that's fucking, I love yeah. that bit. It's good, that. Crack a bit, that. And then he, how does he, how does he play it? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Wow. Not even a piano. Doors. Wow. John. 
Um, <laughs> so hang on, who's on? Who's on the Mount Rushmore British stand-up? <coughs> Billy Connolly, Victoria, Tommy Cooper, Tommy Cooper, Sergio Busquets. <laughs> <laughs> um, I. Where's Peter K? Is he up there? He might. I might. It might be. He's up there, but it's might, been defaced. Yeah, <laughs> by one of the other. <laughs> Billy Connolly's leant over and wrote "cunt" right on his forehead. I mean, allegedly, uh, Peter K has to be there. He has to be. Lee Evans. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I know he's so In terms loved. Of pure stand up. Then, I yeah. know he's so loved, but I just don't think it was great stand up. I no, know he was brilliant. He was popular, and he had tour after tour after tour. But I just don't think it was brilliant stand-up. And I know like, that'll piss people off because they love him, but... Dave Allen? Irish, any? Doesn't really count. Hmm. What about some of the newer... Who who would you consider, like... S Stuart Lee? The the era that we're in now, like the last 20 years, sort of. Is anyone... It's like fucking three and a half fucking decades to finish <laughs> his face, wouldn't it? <laughs> hey, because his jokes take a while. Nailed it. <laughs> Adam Rowe, ladies and gents, he's going to be taking the money for parking very soon <laughs> at the UK stand-up Mount Rushmore. <coughs> Who I, I, I think it would be British, it would be Connolly, Victoria Wood, Peter Kay. Um, I think Peter Kay awesome. lucky to be up there. No, but in terms of like, not even just straight stand-up. So here's the problem. There's two eras of stand-up here that we, we're sort of merging into each other. There's the original mainstream stand-up that the alternative scene sort of was a sort of like reaction to I almost feel like you'd have to have a, like a mate I don't know you're getting in the weeds a bit aren't you but if you're talking alternative stand up Billy Connolly could be there if you took there's people who'd argue for Alexi Sale yeah like for what he did for alternative comedy the first compare of the store and stuff I think he's B-side he's on the yeah. back he's on the back of the mountain <laughs> oh yeah 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 <laughs> you see him round the back doesn't get the sun <laughs> <laughs> hey hey um ever mentioned that on this podcast <laughs> <laughs> no I meant <laughs> what, what the thing that in the sky never don't even look at it <laughs> especially not without fucking sunglasses um yeah that was good that yeah hey Carl yeah great that mate do you like that question yeah, yeah. I mean someone several people have written it in but I love it how you've got oh genuinely oh, right, yeah, okay. I made it better by making it UK but that's that's what we're here for you come with ideas and I make them palatable yes uh, next question. What about a women's Mount Rushmore? A women's Mount Rushmore? No, genuinely, uh, if you were... If Jane you were... McDonald. Oh, she's great on Loose Women. Yeah. Jane McDonald. Oh, do you mean comedians? Right, yeah. I thought you just meant the best women. Oh, the best women. <laughs> Jane McDonald. The woman Angela who plays Merkel. Gail. <laughs> Gail what? Platt, off Cody. Modric. <laughs> <laughs> just get Modric to stand in again. <laughs> I'm not doing it for Modric. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I like Joan Rivers, defo on Joan that. Joan Rivers is up there. She has to be, yeah. Defo have Victoria I fucking on love that. some of Amy Schumer's comedy. I don't. I love some of Amy Schumer's comedy. She likes talking about her vagina lots, doesn't she? Oh, I know, but that's the thing that everyone points at. With, like That's Punch almost up. like the hack response to... <laughs> That's almost like the hack thing to say about women comedy, isn't it? Absolutely, women yeah. Comedians. She leans into it a lot. Ali Wong's fucking great as well. Yeah, I, I haven't really watched much of her. Um, no opinion on women. <laughs> it's amazing watching someone pregnant do two fucking Netflix specials while quite heavily pregnant. And I just watched my wife. Be amazing. <laughs> I'm just going to speak out loud there. <laughs> <laughs> Talk, can I? Is it any harder, though? Men will never know. Do you know what I mean? We'll never know how hard it is to do stand up pregnant. It might be easier. Having another person in there, you're sharing their thoughts with them. It might make you quicker. It might give you ideas. Exactly. Sorry, what? <laughs> Talk about your unborn fetus is inside going, Adam, have you thought about doing that other joke? <laughs> Third joke in. <laughs> Thanks, fetus. Anyway. Yeah. Right. Like, not articulating a particular way, but like just like a feeling. You might just be inspired by your baby. It might be easier to do stand up while heavily pregnant. Right. So don't give it any credit without like looking right. into it. <laughs> yeah, don't give it any credit. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like all I'm saying is she's done two specials like that. 
So if it was that hard, wouldn't you just not do the yeah. second special while you've... I mean, I'm going to do the next section after a KFC and I'm not sure how that's going to go. <laughs> but pregnancy seems like a fucking doddle. Sorry, what was that? What should I close on? <laughs> Thank you. So have you ever noticed what it's like to be in a womb? <laughs> a uterus. Um, next question. I don't understand why. I think I just started saying words. Is, is Finn gone to get the KFC? Oh, yeah. There goes my hero. Got one more question? Yeah. Okay, who is your favourite villain? Oh, so that could be like film, TV, book. Just villain. Not Should real. Film or TV. Not real villain. Like, don't say like Ian Brady, not. <laughs> fictional, fictional villain. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your favourite bad guy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not just like murderer of women and children. No, no, that'd be that wouldn't be funny, would it? <laughs> that wouldn't be funny, no. It does well on other podcasts, though. Does yeah, you know? yeah. Top five. Who's your Mount Rushmore of women killers? No, don't answer that. That was a. <laughs> that wasn't order. 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 Adam. <clears throat> um. Favorite all-time villain. It's what have you watched where you like die? Die, you cunt. Dolores Umbridge in Harry Potter. Oh, she's a... You know, have you seen Harry Potter? The what? Which one? Four or five? Is she four? This is four, isn't it? It's five. Five? Order of the Order Phoenix. Order of the Phoenix. Phoenix. Yes. She comes in and takes over Hogwarts and she's there. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. Right? I swear to God. Did he push again? Pink handbag. Yeah. I visualised it. Yeah. You nailed it. I would happily... Happily, if I'd seen that actress in the streets, right, kicking in the face. What's her name? Because she's an absolute, she's like a national treasure of uh, British theatre. I'd and actually break film. me real if I had a machine gun. I'd shoot it in the face. I'd Do break me no machine guns for faces. Real. Um, Look at her. Dolores Umbridge is played by Imelda Staunton. Imelda Staunton. Oh, do you know what? Etta has got a fucking um, Gruffalo audio CD that Imelda Staunton narrates. You know, you know when she fucking murders it. Shit, really bad. And I've seen Imelda Staunton in loads. Right, but mate, I'd be, I'm sure I'd she's be supportive. Lovely, but I wouldn't be able to get past. If I was walking down like Oxford Street in London <laughs> and she was walking down, something would just kick in, and I'd just be like, "Wah!" and I'd fly. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. You'd uppercut. Yeah. 62 year old actress <laughs> Imelda Staunton. I, 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 oh. Yeah. And when she was. I'm a cadaver! And when she was down, I give her a fucking boot in the ribs on that. That's for the fucking Gruffalo CD that I don't want to listen to in the car. Yeah. She's 65. She's 65. Yeah. No, she's retired. So that's not my favourite villain. Harry Potter. I mean, she is a good villain. Like, to be a good villain is to have that reaction from people. Yeah, but there's also some villains that I quite like and I end up understanding. Go on. Like. I sort of understand Heath Ledger's Joker. You yeah. meant you meant to. He's like, yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Like you relate to him, and you're like, yeah, burn the whole fucking thing to the ground. No, but he's, he, mm, yeah, but he's almost like he's he is the bad guy. He's absolutely the villain, but he's he's a legendary villain because it was such an amazing performance, and the Joker is always sort of likable, isn't he? Because he's sort of mentally unstable and he's funny and then he's scary. Yeah. The anti-hero, isn't he? Essentially. Oh, yeah, right. Mm. Yeah. It's a weird one. God, fucking Heath Ledger's joke. But Joaquin Phoenix was also unbelievable at that job. Yeah. Right. Like, but I don't phenomenal. relate to him in the same way. No. That's quite sad, that one, isn't it? Yeah. I suppose there's the, there's the villain where you're like, I just want you to die. I remember watching Game of Thrones with Ki uh, Joffrey. Oh, yeah. Is it the kid? Yeah, Joffrey. Yeah. When he got spoiler alert poison, you, it was the weirdest thing where you're like, because you, you, by the time you get to series three of Game of Thrones, you know that people get murked and you're like, oh, you can almost get this longing like, please kill this cunt. I hate him. Yeah. I really hate him. And then towards the end of that season, they murk him and you're like, yes. as he's, as a, and he's a child, he's about 14 as he's dying. You, you're literally in your living room going, get the fuck in. He's dead. Loved it. Well, my Gustavo Fring. Lad, that's literally coming out of my mouth. The, one of the best villains. Gustavo. Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, yeah. Chicken guy. Oh, Chicken he's guy. fucking amazing at being the bad guy, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's also in... The I often... He's I, also a bad guy in The Mandalorian, that guy, yeah. and he's yeah. annoying in that. I I often relate to the villains more than I do the heroes. Shock. Uh, <laughs> you blow me away. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. You know what I mean? Imagine. <laughs>
<laughs> Would you agree that it is very hard to podcast when, there's KFC when you know there. well, there's a KFC in Honestly, the room. I'm waiting for you to press the button because I'm fucking starving. <laughs> What's happening, guys? It's sponsor time, as always, and this week it's parcelstation.co.uk. If you work for or run a company that likes to send some shite to your customers, you might be able to save a little bit of money on your parcel costs via parcelstation.co.uk. They're a parcel management company, and they work with some of the biggest e-commerce places in the world, like Amazon and eBay, and they've also got contracts with all the biggest delivery companies, like Hermes, if you want your parcels lashed on the fucking roof, that is, DPD, Yodel, You've got contracts with everyone. And if you want to save a little bit of money on your company's parcel costs, go to their website, parcelstation.co.uk forward slash have a word and see what they can do for you. They might be able to save you a little bit of dough. They've even worked with one of our biggest sponsors, one of our longest serving sponsors, beer52.com. They're a great company. They're fans and supporters of the podcast. So if you are looking to get some parcels sent on a business level, go and support them. They support us. That's how adverts work. We appreciate you. Now let's get back to the episode. Adam's got an orange juice bit. Why is this? <laughs> Fire! We, we've been pricking around with microphones for a couple of minutes, and as we realise, <laughs> ready to go. Got some uh, orange juice banter coming. <laughs> Bit of OG chat. OJ. OJ. Like orange juice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Orange Hall James Simpson. Look, I like an orange juice, you know. Yeah, do you? Mm-hmm. Had a bit of it. This, while well, I've been sick, right? Um, been drinking a lot of sugary liquids to keep any sort of calories in my body. Oh god, yeah, you've got to. You know what I mean, yeah, yeah. Diora lights. <laughs> had a few, few diora lights. Right after every squirty poo, apparently you meant to have one, but that would have been too much diora light. <laughs> Oh. Like how much squirty poo has to come out before you have one, though? Rumble Holland's here! <laughs> <laughs> he brought orange juice. <laughs> um, I don't know what constitutes uh, a poo by definition and what's the remainder of the last poo. Mm. Um, and what if you get one of those where it's like... He's back, powder? ladies and gents. <laughs> He's back. Do you have any of those where it's like foam? You know, it's really bad and oh, you're like just shit no. frog spawn. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was, it was. I don't know if that's a COVID symptom like a or moose? just a bad diet thing. Do you know, like your aero shit? Do you know, like um, what's the consistency? Um, do you know, mm-hmm. like a curry sauce from the chippy that you've let go solid and then you've rewarmed it's up. got a bit of a skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the thin bit. Yeah. That, that's what it's been like. Jesus. Yeah, right, they're done. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just wash this chitter chatter down with this refreshing beverage. Well, it, it's lovely to see you. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. At such short notice as well. You had an old Rona, mate. We've had new Rona. Yeah, I had Rona Mark 1 back in the day. When you we had didn't even know what it was. No medical expert tell you for defo it was Rona. You were <laughs> well, like, I, oh, I was really tired for a week in I April. Had, yeah, I had a comedian who used to be a doctor tell me he thought it was Rona. That was the, that was the best we could do back then. We didn't have tests you could shove down your dick. He had to stop YouTubing for five days. <laughs> I remember, I was like, Rob, Rob's at it, Rob's at it. Yeah. Has he been told by a doctor? No. No, I'm no. guessing. He has been told by a colleague yeah. with a medical training. But like, it would have been weird. Who if, was it? Uh, Paul Sinner. Right. So like, he's smart as well. He's yeah. like, you know, he's proper. Uh, like, yeah. But he, it, like, you know, it was like, at that point, there weren't tests. <laughs> and Ali, Michael J. Fox. Sorry. <laughs> Rob, that just seems like I'm being a total prick about Parkinson's. It absolutely does, But it does, is yeah. a callback to us talking about Parkinson's. Billy yeah, Connolly. being a prick previously. But I was being a prick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Connolly, Sinner, Michael J. Fox. Oh, Ali, yeah. What yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. It's elite, to be fair. It is an elite group. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like, there, there weren't, you know, that was the best way we could do it back then. There weren't tests. And like, it would have been weird if I got wheezy and tired at the start of a pandemic, you know, and it wasn't it. Yeah. 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 Uh, chances are you. Chances yeah, are. Yeah, yeah. Odds are, you know, I can't be certain, but yeah. I'm pretty sure. It you, did. you and I gig. You were the last gig I did before the Rose. Yeah, I think I probably. And got we were there. like, uh, 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 yeah, in no, Leeds at that yeah. shit club. What's I it? think it's Prism, but I think mm. I got it the week before, right? Because the week before, you know, it takes like two weeks to come on. I think of it. I don't know. I, I'm not Maybe, a scientist. Don't knows? don't fucking don't quote know. me on that. But oh, I got it from you then. Oh, you got it from him. Or him, or someone. Yeah, You're, you'll have it. This was this is way back. We're talking like. Don't last get March. out of breath accusing people of giving you Rona. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> two, two seconds. 
<laughs> but yeah, it was when we were gigging when it was definitely not okay to be gigging. Like me and Dan were in the dressing room, like, oh, it's, it's not, we shouldn't be here. So you but, have to start. Like, but you were the first person I ever did the yeah, elbow we were to. Like, oh, 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 I'll do this, that'll uh, protect this, us. This and feels then, fun and it got boring quick. Yeah. But like, yeah, but like the week before that, I'd been in Leeds and um, it was before anyone knew what the advice was. And like, I got home from a gig where I'd shaken maybe 200 people's hands, got home to Fuck don't it. shake people's hands. I was like, oh. Were you doing the oh, door that night, yeah? <laughs> I was in the cloakroom, mate, taking coat tickets. <laughs> Jesus, Rob, you ripped that gig, didn't you? Yeah. A long walk to the fucking dressing room on that one. <laughs> touch me, touch me. No, I like, because I, I, I like, not, in pre corona times, I would I go to the back of a room and like, get email sign ups. Like, um, so yeah. I, like, I would just chat to people on the way out. So I'm just meeting people. There was loads of stag dudes and that. I'm like, fucking high fiving people. And I get yeah. home, like, on the way home on the radio, it was like, the latest advice is don't shake hands. I was like, ah, yeah. shit. But you came in there, and we're not fucking, obviously, he's had the owner, I had the owner before, yeah. and Finn's still dying. You came in and we didn't shake hands or anything. Yeah, yeah. It almost feels like you. It, it's a weird not to do any gesture. What I've yeah. noticed recently is we've gone to just the fist bump. Yeah. Fist we're bump going has to become the, very standard. We're just yeah. going to it because it, even though it's probably not a good idea to fist bump, it feels eggy just being like, all right, and then sitting down. Yeah, it's weird. You want like a bit of a, like, I was hi, kicking hi. people's feet for a while just to do yeah. summit. You know? Just like Bowen. kid and play. What? Oh, fuck it. Oh, did they do that in Japan, did they? You've got to bring that. I don't it. know. Just saying. Just saying we should start Bowen. <laughs> you Rob, about Rob? Rob, he's had a bit of a ribbon today. So that's reaction. Like, when you were like, oh, I'll go in on, on Carl. Carl's like, fuck off. This well, is doing, Yeah, we'll, we'll bow on the, when you come in. For Japan for you, oh. and now you, you it's, it's a silly thing. On the way out, we'll just go, ow, that's a goodbye. <laughs> we'll just do, ow! Like, just do one ow! of these to each other. Adam doesn't know the difference between American Italians and Italians. He's like, what? What? It's if a... you're born in Rome, oh, I'm fucking in Rome here. Yeah. Oh, my mama you know Now do. go to Turin for a gabagool. Because <laughs> yeah. Bowen's Japanese, we could backflip. <laughs> instead. Could we? Could we could who all... do you think can backflip in this? We fucking could all room? Back I can backflip. backflip. You Don't. cannot backflip. I can. You can. I can. I yeah. don't come back <laughs> need a what? lot of space. Not any. A lot of space. When was the last time this happened? Six last weeks. time I backflip. Oh, six yeah. weeks ago. Six, Before you were unwell. Yeah. What are we talking? We're we talking like a handspring or straight just from the ground. You jump. Have you seen Loire Loire? <laughs> <laughs> Rob, Rob, Eat you off. need this. Grab yeah, it. Yeah, grab, yeah, it. grab it and bang thank it. Thank you. There you go, kid. There you go. I Satisfying, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Sorry, I went lefty there. I can do a stand and backflip. <laughs> this is not true. Yeah. There's no way your little legs can get all the Have way you over seen your it? head. Have I, I've never seen it. Yeah. Has he posted it on Instagram? Do you think Adam, Does this look like a man do you think Adam seen would be like, you know, I post a lot on social media, but I'm just not going to do that standing backflip that I yeah. can do. Some things have got to be for me. <laughs> I do not believe you have any skill you have not told everyone about. <laughs> I've well, seen him. I've seen him score seen him. a bicycle kick and then go into the corner and do a stand and backflip. Yeah, uh, I, so, I'm like, I don't know. I don't always <laughs> land. Don't always land it perfectly. <laughs> I love sometimes it's qualifying now. Sometimes there's a one foot back. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fucking hell. oh, I'm taking really points there, like. off that. That's a three. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. I mean, like, we, look, we can't, there's not enough room, sadly, in here. No, not enough room. Oh, no, no, no. We can, we can immediately after the show. If only we had some sort of, like, mobile camera that could make, like, videos and mm. we could go outside. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Patreon.com slash <laughs> Are you going to do a backflip so after this? Adam give himself spinal injuries. Want, yeah. Yeah. If you want to watch Adam do a backflip, it's patreon.com slash pod. I mean, it would be quite something to see you backflip. <laughs> I am not an oh, agile man. Wow. I'm just too many limbs, man. Like you I doing the crab could form quite a sturdy bridge over the Mersey. Like, <laughs> Mate, I'd be, I'd be uh, challenging the Humber. <laughs> Wouldn't that for length? Are you, go, are you going the oh. Mersey flow? I'm going the Mole Holland. I, don't, I do get a pogo stick, don't I? What? <laughs> what? He needs a pogo stick start, oh, like a jump start. A... Oh, here we go. Right. Yeah. We... You oh, need yeah. a trampoline. Yeah, right. so, a pogo stick. <laughs> a trampoline and a pogo stick. You realise those things aren't going to help each other? You're just going to penetrate the trampoline with your pogo? No, you haven't seen. <laughs> Bad pogo, Patreon. Mean, com pod. For more insane things from the mind of someone who's got long COVID in his brain. If they do say mental deterioration is uh, is I'm a I'm on steroids, right? I'm on steroids for the fucking roller, and I can backflip on a pogo. Fuck off. I give it three weeks before he's in hospital claiming he's Napoleon. <laughs> in the middle of game of 14. 
on a pogo stick and a trampoline. <laughs> I've seen him do it. Get a pogo stick out your sock. Quite a celebration. <laughs> Worth I've a seen, yellow card, I've I think. I did have a pogo stick <clears throat> when I was a kid. For a bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I did. So did I. Yeah. In the dovecot. Now, this story, yeah. I believe. Did you no. not have pogo sticks? I'm sorry. I had a pogo yeah. stick, yeah. Everything I've... Um, Everything I've been led to believe about Dovecot in the early 90s is everything that I saw in, like, early boys. <laughs> I was three. I was what? born in 92. All right. I sorry. I was oh, the, <laughs> the mid to late 90s. God, I was way up. Way up. Yeah. The early 90s, Dad. I wasn't on a pogo stick until 96. <laughs> you fucking knob. Yeah, you look a date there, Dad. <laughs> But you make it out like it's fucking boys in the hood. Yeah, yeah. yeah just trying to get through the noggy dogs, the crocky tox. Yeah, the man's on road on the pogo. The fucking two brute pricks. I just survived, you know? A lot of these motherfuckers were mowing each other down. Have you seen Liverpool Narcos? Look in the background. There's fucking four-year-old Adam. Have you seen the cocaine, the pills episode of Liverpool Narcos? There's a bouncing fucking four-year-old in the back. Just doing fucking backflips on a pole goes like, what? 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 That's Adam. Yeah, that's how he got through. Never got shot because he couldn't fucking get that aim. Shoot that motherfucker. I can't. He's too bouncy. Yeah. You give me that 20 quid for the cat lad. I'll go get it. <laughs> you know, drug dealers delivering on pogo stick. <laughs> get on. We'll go round the clock. <laughs> get on the pogo stick. With it being Liverpool, is there like shirtless lads doing it with no hands? <laughs> can you wheelie a pogo stick? You can, I don't know if you can, but like, I, I would love to see one of the proper, like, you know, in the Scouse Burka, you know, when it's just like all black North Face, like over the face, onto oh, yeah. there. All blacked out pogo <laughs> stick. <laughs> Do you reckon that'll be the Olympics they next? See me you know, about, now, now yeah, they've got yeah, skateboarding yeah. and that. Like, what, yeah. what, you know, what's the difference fundamentally between skateboarding and pogo sticking? And jet skiing. Jet skiing? Yeah, but that's got an engine in it. You're powering the pogo yourself. <laughs> Don't start in with the Olympics and engines. We've been here before, Rob. Get it! And rockets. <laughs> When are planes in the Olympics? <laughs> yeah, why can't I ride Nemesis at Alton Towers in the Olympics? Oh, right. Imagine. I watched the BMX the other day. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, they had the BMX on. Mm. I'll be honest, never watched it before, never given a shit about it. Pretty fucking fun. You, yeah. They all go around and like... Yeah, the BMX racing's that's good. That's fun. Uh, like, I, I that's, hate, I'd like to see it on a pogo stick. I hate the skateboarding. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm a big fan of skateboarding. I just think it's fucking lame, Olympic skateboarding. Because right. for a start, you've got to pass a drug test and so none of the good skaters are there. Yeah. Like, no one good's there because they'll smoke loads Fair of weed. That. Fair enough that, don't we? What? You can't just make an exception for drugs just for the skateboarding. Yeah, but I feel like you should. <laughs> like, I think, I, I definitely think like weed should be exempt. It's not performance it's not enhancing, anyone, is, is it? it? Weed. Yeah. I've like, said this you, before. On this podcast, almost certainly, they should let everyone take whatever drugs they want. Yeah. That's the real Olympics. So yeah. 2014. Yeah, but not performance enhancing drugs, only <coughs> like illegal drugs. So you're allowed no, as much you can cash have, as you want. Any, you can no, have you can whatever have you want. Yeah. Whatever you want. Yeah. That's the ge that's a Smash. genuine level playing field. You want to take steads? Take them. Don't want to take them? Don't. That's your peak. Yeah. yeah, physical Lane fitness. one, the Kenyan. Lane two, the Canadian. Lane three, OD. Lane four, OD. Lane five. <laughs> Lane five, the cyborg. You, you, that's your risk, though, isn't it? Yeah, but the problem is, if everyone's allowed to do it, you have to do it to compete, innit? If everyone's, like, roided up, there's not really a choice. If you're like, well, if you want to be in... You can be in exactly. the Olympics no, final and run on. 10 minutes slower There's than everyone else. still the fucking vanilla, uh, you know, geeky Olympics that we've got now. Right, right, right. But just oh, after... No. Like the Paralympics, no, no, we've no, also yeah. got the I'm record Olympics. I'm, I'm up for that. Had yeah. Olympics on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Carl. Nope. <laughs> See this hot potato? Yeah. You can have that back. Yeah, I, I, ain't no one picking that one up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a really good Don't idea. Don't tell me yeah. you wouldn't watch yeah. Paralympics on drugs. How would that look? I mean, that's Carl. how I watch everything. No, Rob, to be Rob, let the camera cut to Carl. <laughs> okay. How would that look, Carl? Wheelchair basketball, Evan smacked off the tits. <laughs> what, that gets past tell him me and just bounces off the face? You wouldn't watch that. Smack ball. <laughs> That's the drugs, by the way. That's the drugs doing that, yeah. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> it's been a nice run. <laughs> Rob, thanks for being here Sorry, for the last glad, episode. Glad to be here for the final one. <laughs> <Yes>. Smackball. <laughs> Wheelchair smackball. 
you would watch that prime time nine, nine o'clock Saturday if, night. Uh, if you're in a smackhead, being um, like uh, having like disabled legs, I think would be an advantage because then you can't feel where you're stabbing in. You know, when you like run out of veins in your arms, you got to go elsewhere, and they yeah, end up yeah. knackering the legs. If the legs are already full, they yeah, can't get in the Olympics though. Yeah, well, no, because they get drug tested. Yeah, exactly. there you go. If you remove that barrier, the Olympics. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> the all those smackheads who are on the streets doing now, finally they've got a purpose. Now they can be, you know, in the coxless force. And they are quick as well. Yeah, some of them are. Yeah, to the ch- to the uh, ATM at midnight on a Thursday. <laughs> Imagine after hundred meters, <laughs> four <laughs> seconds. That'd be really funny. There's just one ATM, and there's six of them, and it's the first one to get their full, to get their full gyro out. Yeah. I want to see the spice hundred meters, and it takes forty five minutes. <laughs> but they have to have the event at ten to midnight. <laughs> in very very late start in Manchester. for the Spice Olympics. <laughs> gyro comes in at midnight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Gotta make it all the way around the Burger King and back to the big Primark. <laughs> <laughs> the tension is so right. We could have done Smackhead Olympics without the first bit. <laughs> We've ended up where we needed to be. Yeah, we got there in the but end. But we went a dangerous route. Oh, is that yeah. fair to say? We took a rocky road. But yeah, I, I genuinely think let everyone do do uh, whatever they want. Well, they, they fucking so are there should anyway, be, There should the be thing. several Olympics in my house, right? So yeah. you've got the drugs, whatever you want, that, that one. Yeah. And you've got the one that they have at the minute. Like the don't regular do Olympics, yeah, and we're going to start testing you properly. Yeah. Bo- Even the you boring Russia. Olympics, and then the next one down is just us. So if you've ever like competed or like shown any interest, you're not eligible. And there's another Olympics where they literally just go down the street and they go, right, you, you're it's like you're, the you're, draft. Yeah, they just get people off the street and they're just like, right, you're doing javelin, you're doing shot put, Carl, you're doing. Fingers Jet crossed skiing. you get gymnastics like oh, Jet skiing. Jet skiing as well. <laughs> Just random cunt Olympics. Yeah. Right. I'd watch that yeah. before I watch the proper one. So so your selection for the Olympic team is like the postcode lottery. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like jury duty. Well, you don't oh, have I'm to doing. even sign up. It's it's not like jury duty, it's like conscription. It's just look, we're going to Olympic war with fucking Belgium and that. You're you're doing it for us. Belgium is so good in the Olympics as well. Neil, <laughs> you've had a letter love. <laughs> You're doing discus in Tokyo. <laughs> Just watching some old cunt's hip fly out as they spin around trying to throw it. What? What does it say, Margaret? Oh. You're going. If only we could have got Captain Tom in the 1500. Oh, it would have been. He would have fucking smashed it. Gone too soon. Gone too soon. Hashtag gone way too soon. Way too soon. 153 years old. <laughs> Raised 28 million pounds for charity for just not dying. Yeah. yeah. Then went to the fucking Barbados <laughs> to bang hookers. Yeah, but can you fucking blame the lads? No. Like, I, I hope he fucking had loads of hookers. Good, Good on him. him. Like, I, I hope that's he, how he went. I hope he drowned in pussy. He deserved it. Is that the on his death certificate? The cause of death. <laughs> drowned in pussy. <laughs> Too if, much. If you drown, do they put. Couldn't breathe for all the pussy. <laughs> I don't know if they put what suffocated you. If you, I think they just put suffocation. I don't think they put like ball hey, you gag. Have, you, went you haven't wrong. put what suffocated me? Was it a pillow? A pussy? <laughs> pussy drowned it was in, pussy, was drowned it? in debt. Uh, or or dick. You know, if Captain Tom was into, that, I don't know. I don't want to cast aspersions on Captain Tom's sexuality. You know, whatever he was into, he deserved. Yeah. Did he put pillow? Drowned in Isn't pillow. That- yeah, drowned in pillow. You drown in a pillow. Though, you do you? Mad that? Yeah, you Unless you got like a seventies water bed. <laughs> Unless your wife is writing the death certificate. He drowned in a pillow. <laughs> Honestly, and I said we shouldn't get these fourteen tog pillows because they're quite heavy. But he insisted on them, and I don't know how I got these scratch marks. <laughs> I um, killed them. What? I get it. <laughs> Carl, just just edit this out, just so. But just for, just want to make sure you know. Go on. What I was insinuating is that she killed him. With a pillow. Oh, with a pillow. Yeah. Fourteen tog. Do they not? So if you just like if you drown, do they just say drowned? They don't say like drowned in the sink or, I at, I or at sea. I mean, I definitely don't think they put drowned in the sink ever. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened. How, how, does, ha- how does it happen? Maybe like a gr- an adult. Let's not do the. A tragic yeah. apple bobbing incident. 
fucking you dredge. How <laughs> working class are like, let's do some apple loving outside. No, it's raining. <laughs> into- but there is in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, the but- saddest children's party ever. <laughs> I feel like I've definitely bobbed for apples in more than one sink. Like, is that is we that council? Do- is that like? Yeah. Oh, oh, we hell. used to do that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we used to do. Uh, yeah, but you're council as fuck. You're yeah. not helping my cause in the yeah. bath. Yeah, it was difficult though on the pogo, but still fucking <laughs> made it work. Just Go on, Adam. <laughs> 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 yeah, we used to do. Uh, my mum used to put like a quid and a fifty p and a ten p in the apples, and they were in a bucket. And then uh, I don't what? think we had coins in the apples. I think we. Did, I think our treat was a delicious <laughs> apple. Dad, you, you can take this one. You have been on some fucking unbelievable form today. Your mum got the fruit and jammed coins into the Not middle. A quid as well. Like yeah, you could, you could put like a you could push a penny in or a two. No. P- a quid's too fat to push into an apple. Not for Anne Row, mate. No, there used to be. <laughs> she 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 inserted a hole into the side of the apple and then jammed she a fifty p in there. She used, used to get she used to get ten pound worth of. Ch- she used to get me to go to the ice cream man and get ten pounds worth of different change, and then she'd put it. That ten quid was in the whole bowl, and then me and me mates would compete for the ten quid on Halloween. In the kitchen, in the just in a, it was the same bucket. That it like, wasn't in the sink. No, it was in a big. It was in the like plastic tub. sink bucket. Yeah, the, yeah, the washing yeah, yeah. up the tub. inside sink. Yeah. Would you end up in hospital because you'd all choked on coins? <laughs> no. Yeah. No, you just eating you're coins. Just biting the apple, and then you get your apple out, and you're like, wow. Double edged saw this because he's had one of his five a day, but he's eating my fucking two pound coin. The fat little twat. <laughs> It's difficult being a mum, innit? You want him to eat fruit, but not your fucking <laughs> change. Yeah. Wow. My mum was gutted one year as well, because, like, obviously she always wanted me or Jack to win. Like, there, there was one with a £2 coin in. So she always wanted me or Jack to win that, and one of my mates won it. And she was like, when did the two p- the two quid. When did the £2 coin come in? Like, when did it, like, I feel it wasn't around that In long, Liverpool, 1983. <laughs> yeah, lad, and there's a £3 coin, That's and there's three... a £4.50 coin. <laughs> Fucking not bad. <laughs> what do you mean? It's legal tender. <laughs> Off he pogo's <laughs> with his weird bag of magic coins. That's why Adam's wheezy. It's just like sixteen p rattling yeah. around in his lungs. <laughs> 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 what I've just said, by the way, is 100% true. No, it's not. You're in a silly mood. It's long COVID. It's made you more There's ridiculous. There's no way she put a tenner in. No. There's no way it was no, a tenner. I, honestly, I want to get a Ouija board out. I swear. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what is that? Swear on your COVID? I swear on my Rona. Like, I think it? that was like what you say when you're going to murder someone in Colombian prison. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> swear on my pogo. <laughs> Like, I believe that she pushed some coins into... She'd put a tenner in every year. Why would you do a tenner for kids? Just put 5p in, they'll be delighted. She's a very generous woman. Because <laughs> they were hustling. By the way, can Harry Robinson make the pogo stick? Just in case you forgot. <laughs> yeah. He didn't. They're already <laughs> making a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Boys on the pogo. <laughs> I did one. Pogo I, in the hood. We'll work. We'll work on that. Yeah, we'll I used to do like I used to go to like youth centre where we'd do like apple bobbing and all that. I remember one Halloween, right? Like one what of the, was in the apples? Nothing. Just you got an apple. I never right. thought. I thought it was all just an apple made. Yeah, you just win an apple. Thing. Uh, money in it? No, no. It, it, international rules. It's bobbing for apples. Yeah. It's not bobbing for apples and pocket money. Bobbing exactly. For a few bob. <laughs> Let it hang. <laughs> that fucking joke. <laughs> yeah. no, I've, I've, nev- I've never known a coin Where, was it, like, in Nesbury you went in down Nesbury. to the youth centre to yeah, Bob yeah. for apples go down youth but like after, after the album <laughs> Rob grew up in late Victorian Nesbury <laughs> I remember that like, after Robin for apples we had um <laughs> They had like they brought out hot dogs. They're like, oh, how many hot dogs does everyone want? And like one of the like the, the big hard lad off my estate was like, I want four. And they were like, you, you can't eat four hot dogs. We're like, you know, we're like nine. We're little. Yeah. It's like you can't eat four hot dogs. And it's like better fucking can, right? And he's like giving it big licks. And because I was like the skinny, like weak lad, I was the proper little pussy on the estate. They were like, hey, Rob, I bet you a fiver I can eat all four. Because I was like, you're not eating four hot dogs. And so like, I bet you a fiver you can. And that was like big money for me. Then I did not have a fiver. I was like, I don't Was he a big, the, bu- the big yeah, bully? Was he, he was, what was his name? Do you remember? Uh, like, uh, Rascal. Like, 
I think I think this was. Uh, I think <laughs> the problem is, 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 is uh, there's one of like three lads. It might have been. I think this might have been Tippy. Like shout out Tippy if you're watching. Uh, shout out Tippy. Yeah, we're yeah. sponsored. A new sponsor today. I think it, it might have been, but like th- there's a few people it could have been. Um, I, it's a long time ago. But the sort of like I was I was press ganged into this bet that I didn't want. Yeah. And then after two hot dogs, he threw up, and then he didn't pay me. So either uh, Tippy or maybe Danny, maybe one of you, maybe Craig. It's one of you. I was me a five. Sponsored by. Craig. Yeah. You can't eat two I know two hot dogs. It was fucking pathetic. Even a nine year old, you gotta be able to get two. We down, used to sell, they used to sell hot dogs in our school. <laughs> at, at oh, big time. I used to love Mr. Rogers' shelf. Mr. Mr. Rogers, hot dog 50 pence each, two for a pound. Great line. What? Did you go to school on a fucking market store? <laughs> <laughs> Gaslight is six for the pound. No, we what, did you get your hot dogs in a paper bag? No, they no, just sold hot dogs and they were 50 pence each or two for a pound. And he did a, He actually did a call out for it. Yeah. yeah. He stood there. With, so he was the deputy head and he stood next to the poor little shaking like a shit and dog dinner lady. Scott's man. And she... Yeah, Scott's mask. Like He's been hurt before. There's <laughs> fucking animals. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Yeah, so Scott's so mum sold there. the hot dogs. He was literally stood there. He had a bottle of tomato sauce in one hand and a bottle of brown sauce in the other. He's not lying. <laughs> Who's putting brown sauce in a hot dog? Well, it was start. sausages on a bar. It wasn't oh, like yeah. brat first. It was just sausages. And so that wasn't enough. He decided that he needed to do like a meat van advertisement. <laughs> What are you getting in this fucking bun? You're not just getting one bit of meat, you're getting red sauce, you're getting brown sauce. Did he have one of those microphones that goes over your <laughs> no, ear? No, he just had a booming there. voice. Yeah, he was like, no you were there, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, 50 minutes, two for the bed. And you'd go over and like... We, some, <laughs> and that was the joke. Sometimes for two quid, you'd get four hot dogs. But was that a joke that he did? I, I assume. Yeah, right. So, maths joke. Oh, it was a maths joke. Yeah, maths yeah, joke. yeah. it wasn't just like. Because you can get two for a pound. pound even without that offer. Just pause this so I can explain it to each other. <laughs> Go on. So they're 50p each. So they're 50, if, but then. Yeah, that's this money times 10. Yeah. Yeah. But usually with two for a. It's like a reduced fee because you're getting more. Yeah. But two 50p's makes one pound. Yeah. And you're getting two. Mm. Right, press score. Go on, we go again. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, sometimes I'd get four. Yeah, but Absolutely. why were they encouraging kids to eat hot dogs? I know it was pre Jamie Oliver, but still, it wasn't they must have known. Pre Jamie Oliver, I didn't go to school with him. All right, not not pre Jamie <laughs> Oliver existing. You know what I mean? Like you know the the, the oh. Jamie Oliver campaign. Rob, you've got to get when he went to school. Very right. Apparently, <laughs> fucking so. <laughs> Was I in school in 1994? <laughs> <laughs> I went to school in 1996. Rob. <laughs> Fucking pogo <laughs> nonce. Scott's mild. How many dogs. could you eat in a row? Sausages. Not in the barn. That's ridiculous. He, did, was he eating hot dogs with the bread? Yeah. He's a fucking idiot. You take that that's bit every day. Is it? That's oh, no, that's thing. easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mate, I, you're talking to the two-time Manchester hot dog eating champion. So, uh, uh, what? Yeah, yeah I, won, I, won a, I won two hot dog eating competitions in Manchester. Like, year after I hardly waited until 10 minutes into the hot dog. <laughs> 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 What are you waiting for? I just I've been didn't, sitting I didn't on this. I'll hold on to this for later. <laughs> <laughs> End of the podcast. By the way. Oh, yeah. So I'm quite about the hot dogs. dog man myself. I'm going to Tokyo on Tuesday to represent Great Britain. Yeah, in the- yeah you know, Rob Lowland's actually a stage name. My real name's Joey Chestnut. <laughs> right. Is this real? No, this is real. I want to lie at the, at, the, um, basically at the Deaf Institute in Manchester. I used to go watch the Super Bowl every year and they would run hot dog eating championship at the Super Bowl party. Half time. Half time, and I won it two years running because I'm fucking deadly when I get How eating. many did you eat? I like, it was only like two minutes. I had six. With the bread? Yeah. Yeah, but you eat... The, what the, size are we talking? Sort of like... Oh, proper, yeah, proper hot dogs like that. The technique, right? Because I watched the, I'd watched the documentary about the competitive eaters, so I knew the technique. What you do is you whip out two sausages, right? You get them out. Two sausages out right. of the bun. Just the sausage. And then you go... Full bugs bunny. You put them together and you go, hey, and you like chew them so you don't have to chew it anymore. So you push them in, chewing like that, and then swallow. Then get your buns, you dunk them in a pint of water and just shove it in and swallow. And you just, it's horrible. But like, I, 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 oh I my uh, God, you I, win. I was so far ahead of everyone else. Like, I, think, I think the people behind me had like one. <laughs> They'd be like eating it like And it. you, Dad. And I go, two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but this is but this is 10 to 2 in the morning, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, this is late on. Everyone's yeah. a bit pissed. Yeah. And then everyone's like, <laughs> I can't eat I'll it. have a hot and dog. You, That'd be nice. And, and I went full on like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm the, I didn't come to play. Yeah. So you ate six hot dogs. In like, yeah. You'd not chewed them properly. So you've basically got about 
three feet of hot dog meat sliced up slightly and swallowed. Three yeah. feet? Well, I mean... Yeah, yeah, when you, when you put those sausages end to end, you'll get about that, yeah. They're about half a foot of sausage, innit? Half a foot? <laughs> Do you know how big half a... What? Six inches? No way! A six inch sausage? I've seen a six inch sausage in my time. I actually think my math was pretty good I on that. I thought that was pretty six, good. Yeah. Probably, you might be a bit it's, under it, but like, you know, you're there or thereabouts. But the wet bun. Yeah, the wet bun's are it. Um, You've made bread more difficult to digest almost. Maybe maybe to digest, but it's much easier to swallow because it's not dry. So you can just hammer it down. Did you did you do at school the Jacob's Cream Cracker Challenge? Yeah. How man. many you can eat in a row yeah, without yeah. without a glass of water? Yeah, it's madness how like, few ha- it is. Yeah. Crazy, the world Oscar. record is like six or something in a minute because it's so hard. I don't know what it is exactly. Like it's so know. fucking dry. Yeah, it just like it takes all the That's moisture. It's one of those things, isn't it, that I hear and I'm like, oh, like I, I could feel do like that. I could do 25. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. In a like it, like easily though. Yeah. It just seems like whoever's had a go wasn't the best at it and the people who are meant to do that thing i mean they literally are the best it, yeah. at it because they're yeah. in the guinness book of records yeah but that's only because no one else has tried i think quite a few people have had a bash now what adam means is i am so great <laughs> i am so great i like crackers yeah. so well, i think we're organically about? we're organically finding a bit of a I pat- reckon I can patron eat more special here, aren't we? Yeah. Well, the the the, the, the backflip cream cracker the challenges. Special. I've got a bat fig. I'm ba- I'll buy a pogo to see this knobhead <laughs> fall off one. Yeah. What do you think you could be in the Guinness Book of Records for? Oh, that's a good one. What well, I could eat more watsuts than anyone else. <laughs> You think right. you could well, be how are we Guinness? measuring this though? Is it? What, is it, it freaks com- me out how he doesn't have to think about this. <laughs> <I know. laughs> that was just there, ready to go, wasn't it? Carl, I've said this to you before a few times on like drives. I am the what's it king. <laughs> brand, only brand. Brand what's it? How many do you think you could do? Packs or packs. individual what's packs. packs? Packs in five minutes. 25 gram packs. Are they 25 gram? About that? I but could do a full a 24 multi pack in five minutes. No, you couldn't. Like, yeah. you've, got, you've got a one pack in as well. They're staying at, you're getting a multi pack pre- presented. Does that include you. opening or are they pre opened? Um, I'd, I'd say with opening, yeah. So. How much saliva do you think you produce? You're just like, I've <laughs> just got the moistest guy. mouth it, in the with, world. Is this, is this with like a horny Doberman, especially when there's water it's involved? <laughs> <laughs> without a glass of water, this is just how many... Well, without a glass of water. 24 bags of water. <laughs> well, that's, so, <laughs> that's can so someone do the maths on that, please? It's so, insane. So the, the, cream, the Jacob's Cream Cracker Challenge is the fact that they're so weirdly fucking flaky and dry... Mm. By like the they third one, you're like, oh, yeah. like, and you just can't swallow. That's a packet of water to every 12 and a half seconds. <laughs> <laughs> An entire packet. <laughs> Patreon.com slash have a word pod. I'm buying a pogo, I'm buying some what's it, some crackers, and we're going to get I robbed to backflip. 10 minutes, I could do it on the pogo stick. <laughs> How much you think you'd be able to do to get into the... I just, I, <coughs> what, am I, what am I particularly fucking good at? Not... No, I genuinely don't know that there's any major skill that I'm amazing at. If not, I've got the confidence in eating that he has. The way he just went, what's it? Without even <laughs> fucking Oh my God, blinking. so the world record for eating a pack of what's it is held by a Birkin headman. Oh, yes. Ben ate a pack of what's it in 33 seconds. Right, and you're reckoning you can do 24 at an average of 12 <laughs> seconds a pack. I'm telling you right now, without any... I, without blinking, I could beat that. Have we got any Watsits in the oh, studio? One packet guys? of Watsits. Oh, come on. Please have a packet of Watsits. Oh, oh we haven't, you know. Oh, Here's a packet of Quavers. I'll do them instead. All right, we'll, we'll do a test run with Quavers. It's not the same thing, but, you know, it's... it's oh, Quavers. Quavers? Yeah. Right, dance. Right, hold on. I'll, I'll get my stopwatch on. Tolerance for drugs back in the day, I could have put in some PB, but like oh, I'm yeah. 40 now, I'm like yeah, a retired yeah, yeah. professional. Yeah, no, you, you back you, in my mid 20s, I could have been selected for England. I believe you, man. I believe yeah. you. The European Championships are in Ibiza. Every right, sorry year. for the I audio. Push these. England would whatever fucking you want. smash that, by the way, if it was tolerance for drugs as a competition. Whoa, 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 sweet child of mine. We used to get munted and like challenge each other to go and like do mm. things. Let's go to the shop. For the audio listeners, just go to YouTube now, just for this. Yeah. So, okay. So I can crush them. Right, we're going to have two independent timers. What do you, so what's the record for the what's it? Uh, 33 seconds for Get the that drink away from him. All right, come on. Pass oh, I won't touch it until all I'm right, done. All right, But I'll need it when I'm done, won't I? Yeah, but you got to swallow first once you have a clean yeah. mouth be before we get any of that. Okay, okay. All right. Right, we, uh, right I'll start the timer and you can all follow. Right, you count down. Right, you ready, Adam? Yeah. 
three. What's the record? Sorry, there's no the record. They're setting a precedent. This could be a new Guinness for what sits. What yeah, what sits is thirty three, but Quavers. We don't know if there is don't one. No, this is a precedent. Ready? Three, two, one, go. He started with a crushing technique. Three seconds yeah. of crushing. Uh, he's, I'll be honest, he's on seven seconds. He's not even had a quaver. Right, okay. Right, here he's he goes. Not going to manage this. Not going to manage this. <laughs> <laughs> <Eight, nine, ten laughs> he lost confidence <laughs> immediately. <laughs> seconds. He put the first bit of quaver I in his mouth. And he's like, a fucking 24 multi pack of what's it? Better mind, Adam. Come on, Adam. Come on, keep going. You're in the race still. Come on, on your record, Adam, you'd have already had nearly three bags of what's it. <laughs> <laughs> No, laughing's slowing you down, <laughs> mate. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. I know it's a comedy podcast. I could have done this if I went for him. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, yeah, yeah nearly. Yeah, yeah. You're fucking well. He's not. You've lost the what's of time anyway. Oh, God. Oh, it's a different discipline. This From is. 42 seconds. You're not even trying, Adam. Stop looking at me <laughs> and focus. Look in the bag. Eat. That's your Eat. future. Eat. A fucking disappointment. If you're a Chinese quaver athlete, you'd be shot. Ready? Come on. Dan's turned into one of these Team GB coaches who's been bullying all the rowers, isn't well, yeah, 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 yeah. well. Right, we need to, we need He's to... not done well. He's done fucking shit. You've done well, Adam. Well, should be proud of yourself. Right, hang on, right. he's, not he's not finished. finished yeah. He's not finished. He's not fucking finished. It's going to be a sub 90 seconds, though. PB. Right. Oh. One minute one 11. Minute. Yeah. Dog shit. Now, I think we and need. You made me laugh. That's it. We and need performance in, a performance enhancing substance like a hangover. And I reckon you could slash that time. Now, they, this is a category where weed is a performance enhancing drug. It very much helps me in the hot dog eating. You know, like that is a category uh, where. Oh, were you stoned? Of course I was. I do everything stoned. You. Uh, <laughs> Oh, Smoking fucking... the marijuana joints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they don't drug test at hot dog eating contests. Well, we've got another bit of a space cadet here in the studio. Oh, my God. On Finley the... Funk Lettuce, they call him by his. <laughs> <laughs> what do they call him? Finley Funk Lettuce. Finley Funk Lettuce. Finley Funk Lettuce. That's his first, rapper name. First bit of merch for Finn. <laughs> <laughs> Old Doob Central over there. Yeah, it's harder than I thought that was going to be. Yeah. More quavers in a packet than I remember. Do you think a pogo would have helped the digestion? <laughs> I think that's where you were going wrong. Yeah, there. that's it. He needs his stick. Bounce yeah. it down. He had to work it down. Yeah. I don't reckon... I, I reckon with a bit of training. <laughs> bit of training? Yeah. Literally just about to go on a month-long set meal diet. But uh, I'm going to put that to one side, Sam, because uh, I need to quaver train. <laughs> You know, you know what's awful? Like the whole time we were like, oh, like, uh, what do you think you might break a world record at? Literally the only thing I can think is I might produce the most jizz in the world. Okay, get you, get you. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds. I don't know how we're going to... Do you make a lot of cum, yeah? A lot, like, to the, to, to the extent... He's been spending too much time with Dr. Canary. <laughs> like, to, to the extent that, like, no one I've slept with hasn't commented on it. Yeah, yeah. They always see it. <laughs> the, well, you are they either though. see or feel it. <laughs> Drowned by Rob's <laughs> jizz. <laughs> uh, we didn't break up. Because we've had this conversation on here before. Right. Like how much? <laughs> so, like a 500 mil bottle of Evian, empty. Yeah, no, I'm not, I don't think I'm quite filling 500 mil. That's he a, would that's a, that's dehydrate and die. <laughs> yeah. So half what? a litre. Half yeah. a litre. He's a big but lad. Like, He's not that big, is he? But like... I'll, <laughs> Right, don't you come I, a like, teaspoon? Yeah, well, I don't. I'm, I'm, a, I'm like, I'm more, way more towards a tablespoon. A ladle. Like, yeah, yeah. I like, you know, the big spoon you serve a roast with. That's <laughs> yeah, like, but just like I, I just on a girl's face once, right? Yeah. And I was at, I She's was still cleaning it off. Well, this is it, man. She was fully covered, and I was still halfway gone. <laughs> It was to the extent where I was like, oh, I just feel bad about this now. It's just like an I don't think thing. she knew what she was getting herself into. She started missing on purpose towards the end. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you get the time? Time, time wise, how, how, how long does it take for you to start and then finish coming? About three and a half minutes. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. She has the same orgasm as a fucking manatee. Yeah. No, like, I don't think it's like that much longer, but it's like a lot of like individual squirts. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So there you go. There's my world record. I don't know if I can prove it. And I think probably someone will Do you reckon it's about as much milk as you put in a cup of tea? Uh, probably more more for me. Like, I'm from Yorkshire. We don't take it milky. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Who's taking this one? It's <laughs> just so, I mean, this little... it's just so ridiculous. Yeah, that's 50 mil. Oh, mm. easy. That's 50 mil. Mm. Oh, easy. You reckon? I'd have a go at it. Oh, yeah. 
I reckon I can do that. Would you shoot her afterwards? Give a young lady a memento for later. (laughs) (laughs) You can take this home with you. When you fuck Rob Mulholland, you get a lovely gift bag. (laughs) And cystitis. Yeah. (laughs) And I've made some candles. Right, so Adam's eating... What's it at the speed of light? <laughs> He's jizzing I'm trying to fill up many a, Patron I'm bottles. into a fucking measuring jug. Damn. Yeah. What do you and doing? I'm, yeah. I I'm going to take, t- I'm going to take loads of pills and try and go and buy literature at Waterstones. And I think I could pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Have you got any John Grisham? <laughs> cunt. I, yeah. Famous cunt. Famous dickhead. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if you've ever tried reading on pills, but it's pretty fucking intense. Yeah, those words don't stay still, do they? <coughs> I had it once where I tried to look at my phone and I just saw a big, like, pink finger looking at me, pointing no, where I was looking if at If you're phone. wrecked, you can't be looking Horrible. on your phone. Horrible. I mean, actual paper word yeah. like, works. You're like, <sighs> this is great. Yeah. But I used to be dead good at that, getting absolutely bollocks and then being able to hold it together where everyone mm. was like, oh, I feel wrecked. I was like, I want to go to the ESO garage. You were definitely good at thinking off. you were keeping it together. Genuinely. Held it the fuck together. Me and my mate Jill used to go on little missions yeah. where everyone was like, oh, fuck it. Messed up. We were all right. I think <laughs> I could put it together. It's got a mate called Jill. You also top of a hill. <laughs> yeah, we went to the top of a hill. Just after we'd had a pill. To fetch a pail of... Jizz. Rob's jizz. <laughs> yeah. We, we were... Rob. No, no, we were... Right, cl- I'm, not, I'm not filling a pail. <laughs> this is going to take me a while. This is when we were clubbing in Newcastle and he was in Nairsborough, but it still reached. <laughs> is it raining? No, it's not. Yeah, I've, I've, maybe in my earlier years, you know, I'm in my 30s now, the projectile nature of it has definitely slowed down. Let's stop talking about Rob's jizz. All right. And Why am I even here? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I do. <laughs> you know what your books. I killed Roy Castle when it came <laughs> to measure my jizz. I'm do you want to be a record breaker? <laughs> I put an hole in the side of his van. I'm actually really interested in this. Like, oh, sorry, sorry. I was like genuinely, <laughs> like in the least gay way imaginable. I want to see his come. I want to see him come into a cup. I mean, like the well, least. There's gay the adverts w- gone for this. <laughs> like the least gay way imaginable to say that is still really fucking gay. Yeah, yeah, I know, but <laughs> no, we just wanted to see what you produce. We just want to see the actions. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't. No, fair enough. All right, you can stay out of it then. But yeah. Studio Two is a lovely, intimate little room. <laughs> it is a nice, calm little room, actually. I don't feel... think Freddie Quinn would be happy about its uh, second use. <laughs> I do work better than I... the first one, eh? Oh. No, I've, I've, I've been on that podcast. It's mainly my fault. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange time to do an advert for Piggerton. Yeah, Freddie Quinn's new podcast. <laughs> and soon launching is Mulholland's Jizz. <laughs> when we're struggling to get guests for it. It's just going to be me. <laughs> and a fucking 500, 500 milliliter bottle of heavy hand. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like the worst charity fundraiser ever. <laughs> what? Up to oh, 200 got one mil. Of those big thermometers <coughs> on the side, like you get outside a church. If we get enough, we can fix the roof. <laughs> Pudsy's got something in his other eye. <laughs> oh, let's not do it for children in need. <laughs> of all charities for fucks. Children sake, don't maybe. need jizz. I might do White Nose Day. <laughs> This has been so stupid. <laughs> this has been so giddy. Me and him are in a giddy mood, and then one of our mates has come in and just like added to the giddy. Press the button for a bit. Oh yeah, let's have a little break. <laughs> I need to breathe. He needs to breathe. What's happening, guys? Ooh, look at your outfit. Shocking. You look horrible in that. That's a shit t-shirt, jumper, dress thing, whatever that is you've got on. What you need, lad, is a fucking t-shirt or a hoodie from haveawaypod.com. You want some official Have A Word merch? Go to haveawordpod.com and get some then instead of wearing that fucking shite you've got on. It's horrible. You look a joke. Don't be leaving the house like that. You want a hoodie that says rat? That's what you need, lad. Go and get it. Haveawordpod.com. Spent a lot of that break thinking about jizz. Um, <laughs> you okay? Got any um, things you... When the doctor gave me antibiotics, he told me it might cause thrush. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Have you got thrush? No. Okay. I'm waiting for it. Like knob cheese. It's not, yeah, it's it's not just the cheese though, is it? It's like, uh, you know, it's, you can have knob cheese and not have thrush. You yeah. just have a dirty willy. Yeah. yeah. I haven't got a dirty willy though. I do wash it on a daily basis. That's one of my questions. What's your favourite cheese? Knob. Knob, yeah. Like if you could only eat one cheese forever, what would it be? If, if, if anyone's saying anything other than mature cheddar, they're a fucking idiot. Mature cheddar Lester? is. 
Get to fuck. I want some flavour in my cheese, you weird. Goat's no. cheese is my goat. Goat's cheese? Fucking fire goat's cheese. No, no. no goat's cheese is exactly good. It's not for who you want to be, but you're not. <laughs> I love this goat's cheese. This is fucking bollocks. Yeah, you might love no, it. No, you don't love everything. goat's cheese. You don't. I absolutely There's no do. way you would choose it on a pizza over mozzarella. There's no way you'd have it on a The last pizza I had out cheddar. was in Dockley last week, and I had goat's cheese. Utter shite, as usual. Trying to be different in your fucking blue top and all that. You're talking utter bollocks <laughs> of the highest fucking order. You just want to be different. You're like cheddar, red Leicester, do, yeah. and mozzarella like everyone else. Um, goat cheese goat is cheese. an unwelcome bonus 90% of the time. But I, I know I choose it. I love goat cheese. It's bloody last, lovely. Last week when uh, Eshan was in that chair, Carl got away with saying a few things, and there was a weird gap where it felt like no one spoke. Did you call yourself a polymath at one point? What did you call yourself? Possibly. Yeah. What's a polymath? Oh, right. Polymath. Well, and everyone went, oh, no. <laughs> and oh, there was no. a gap. A couple of times, there was a gap, and I literally went, that's where Adam <laughs> would have Enormous ripped dream. Carl a new one. And it was really reassuring. One week later, to be sat here going, there you go. That's the exact yeah. moment. <laughs> Fuck off. Goat cheese, you fucking goaty nonce. No, for, one, for once, I'm, I'm actually with Adam on this, goat though. No way fire. if you could only have one cheese for no, I didn't say that. I said goat cheese is fire. Hang on. Yeah, you, know, you, you said, you, you you said the goat. You said the goat. Here's the goat. It isn't. You're talking shit. It's not the best cheese. It's just uh, not. Cheese is subjective. It is. And But this is objective. You're is, talking is, shite. Is, is, is goat's cheese the goat of cheese? Or are you just a bit like sort of... Do you know what? Is it no, like, it's no, not. Really like is it cheese. called goat's cheese? Yeah, it's not it, it, it would just be cheese. And the, all the other cheese would be cow's cheese. We've had this conversation before. Fucking shite. You're you talking saying, shite. If you're, having, if you're having cheese on toast, are you crumbling up some feta? No. Exactly. Like feta cheese. What's, ha what's halloumi? Cows. Sheep, I think. Like I think halloumi is sheep. It? Is it? I think so, yeah. No, it's oh, not. no, you can't like it then. Fuck off. No, you can't like it. Cows. Yeah, it's, not the best. it's not the number one cheese. It's I'm not a cheese, fucking though. Cypriot. You're it's right, not though. the one I'm choosing. What you, but I, what, what, I know what you mean about, like, mature cheddar. Yeah, it's like your number one Cathedral basics. City. Absolutely. Oh, it's, it's, but it, what would you put the on The milk pizza? sauce of halloumi you is can goat. Have, you can have cheddar-y pizza. What? The milk sauce of halloumi is goat. Oh, there we go. So cool. fuck the lot of you. I do kind of like halloumi. Oh, there's yeah, another goat not... cheese that you like? Yeah, but when you say goat cheese, you don't mean halloumi, do you? It's you all mean the same crumbly family. white Are we shit? falling out about cheese here, guys? We fucking are. Right. On. I, I'm falling out with him <laughs> for pretending to be something he's I not, as cheese. usual. I'm, I can't. I can't oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. Tell me more. Tell me more. Did what are you, you going for then, Cockhead? Red Leicester, Cheddar. You no, boring I'm... cunt. Yeah, but if you can only have one forever, you need the boring cheese. It needs to do every job. Not trying to piss you off here, Rob. Have you ever tried Grandma Singleton's Tasty Lancashire? Quite a kick. Quite a Lancashire? tang. Lancashire? You're letting him have that? Lancashire? You're letting him have that? That shit in my mouth. You jumped down my throat for goats. You didn't say that. No, I didn't say it was the best. I just wanted to just talk about a cheese I like. You didn't say it was the best. Tell you what can I, fuck What I took guys. umbrage with <laughs> is you said that goat's cheese is your favourite cheese, and you're lying. I don't know who you think you're lying to, because it's not to us. What about we lion cheese? What shit? about lion, <laughs> lion cheese? Che I've never had lion cheese. Have you never, like, halo check halloumi? Is that made of lion cheese? <laughs> I think okay. it's Gruyere that's lions. I have nipples. Could you milk me, Greg? What's um, a polymath? Well, uh, it's, it's someone who's very proficient at, like, everything, basically. Just knows a bit of everything. <laughs> it was, was tongue in cheek. Yeah, no, poly polymath is beyond knows a bit of everything. It's, it's like, excellent at everything. No, fuck all. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah, on, on the Faustus. Lancashire cheese. He's back. He's back. Who knew? Like, at the start of this episode, like, <coughs> fuck off, goat's cheese. Right? Everyone, all right? Yeah. Can we stop talking about cheese? Right. Do you want to talk right. about cheese? One of my questions was, what's your favourite cheese? All oh, right. But yeah, I've never tried Lancashire cheese. I'm wrong. I feel it's wrong. But like, have you I'm going to get you some, mate. Have you seen? Have you seen that they've they've started doing Lancashire tea? And I think it is pathetic. I think it is laughable. It's like, right? If one thing we have cornered in Yorkshire, it is tea. Right, we've done it. Right, Yorkshire yeah. tea is the best tea. Of all, Not of from all... Yorkshire, we stole it. Yeah. But we but put our branding on it first. Is Yorkshire Lancashire. tea the best tea? By a mile. Pizza By an absolute... Better. Get to fuck. Like, nah, like, shit's going to go down now if you keep up this line. PG Tips, PG and... Tips is not better than Yorkshire. That is fucking mental. I get Yorkshire it. Tip. I get it. I get it. It's a very strong regional sort of identity. Yeah. It pissed me off when you had Yorkshire broadband. Yeah, Do you know that, right. that yeah, era that's a bit much. of Craig Murray Yorkshire's paying off his mortgage? shit, in it. And you's just, you has got the, it's like a Liverpool. You, like, I'm sorry, got, what? You, you've got, I'm sorry, you've got sorry, the, sorry, the what? shit on pride, wanna, haven't you? Do you, you want to repeat that? 
It's not our shit hole. It's God's old country, mate. It's fucking beautiful. Have you? Have, Yorkshire's gorgeous. It's one of the most beautiful place on earth. Rob, <laughs> Rob, Rob lives in South Manchester. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely beautiful. God's own country. Fuck all gigs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the pro- not much of a comedy circuit, but lovely walks. <laughs> it's all right. It's just it's one of those places where you just need to pipe down a bit, and your tea's not that from good. a Scouser. Am I getting this yeah, from we a are fucking the best. Scouser? But we we are, are the best. It's, sure. <laughs> What about if it was a That's why it's different what, we're if, what about if it was a scouse goat? Would you eat, would you be impressed with the scouse goat <laughs> cheese? Scouse goat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, lad, check would you drink your own cheese? What? Would you eat your own cheese? No. Nope. I have sniffed it before. Oh. Yeah, we all have. Move on now. Oh. That's it. That's oh, the no, bottom right. of the barrel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, who knew? That was under the barrel if he, I knew. Oh god. Hey, if, Jake, you, if you could lactate, uh, would you would you drink it? Oh yeah. No. Of course he could lactate. Give him 6 weeks. <laughs> Have some sore nips. He's drank lactation in the last six months. Yeah, but not his own. I'm assuming. <laughs> no, <laughs> from his household. Don't work like yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I, such I, a was guessing, dad. I was guessing it was a home brew. I didn't yeah. think he was fucking importing it. Turn me on that man. Was it good? I've been in the lesbian uh, breastfeeding lane since then. I'm into it. Porn wise, not like in real life. Nice. That's not a, a nightclub we oh, have in Chester. Them, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, they meet on uh, Sunday morning at the Methodists. <laughs> Lesbi- lo- sorry, like lesbian breastfeeding. When you say that, I'm assuming it's lesbians breastfeeding, lesbians breastfeeding other adult lesbians. Yeah, right. yeah. Right. Like sucking, sucking the milk out of each other's tits. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, that's fine. Consenting adults. There was just a moment where I was just like, I thought it was a bunch of short-haired women playing board games, hands, nursing Andy? children. <laughs> two hands. <laughs> Fucking hell. I'm glad this isn't a goat. Fucking hefty. (laughs) Has anyone tried human cheese? (coughs) Like, 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 they must have made it. Someone must have made people cheese. Is it actually milk though? People cheese. That's a bit. What do you mean? Is it actually milk that comes? Yeah. What do you think it is that's coming out? Rob Rouse. It's fucking Yazoo. (laughs) I think I think Rob Rouse has got a bit about making his wife's breast milk. Into a cheese, right? Oh, it's quite bland and slightly, slightly sweet. Oh, it is sweet. Well, so it's like a, make like a cheesecake, then like a gouda Ooh. or an emmental. Uh, his his joke is, I think making fudge was going too far. Like it was just really yeah, yeah, yeah. times it beautifully. Yeah. I did not. Uh, Rob Rouse, legend, that's a brilliant comedian. Um, yeah, it's quite it's quite sweet. Yeah, you have to make a cheesecake. Uh, also. People also ask on Google, can a girl produce milk before marriage? <laughs> Only if she's a slag. <laughs> <laughs> FAQs there. Well, like, how frequently is that being asked? Quite frequently. Probably. Well, to make the FAQs, it's got yeah. to be relatively frequent, hasn't it? We've touched on this before, basically, when I was breastfed by my wife. And one of the people on Patreon was like, yes, Dan, it's great. Actually, if you induce it from your girlfriend, it can happen. Like, apparently, <laughs> apparently, yeah, you can get it out of there. You can get what out of there? Just milk? Cheese. Milk. Well, yeah, I would assume you could. If a baby can suck it out, I'm, like, I'm an adult man. I like reckon squirty I could cream, do it. Eh? Yeah, but the baby's just come out of the lady. So yeah. that's, yeah, but there's know. no tits in the womb. <laughs> <laughs> that very much depends <laughs> on uh, how brave you are. <laughs> there's no tits in the womb. <laughs> He's got two weeks off of pent up shit. All of that. in the wind. Full of steroids. Been locked in a cupboard. I'm a wizard. It's not wrong. You don't know that. AJ Gregson says if you guys could appear on any other podcast, what would it be? Obviously, excluding Rogan. He's excluded Joe Rogan. Right, right, right. Thank you guys so much for the past, it must be 18 months now. Love your work. So, if you guys could appear on any... What pods are you into, Rob? What's your thing? Uh, I think if I could go on anyone, I'd go on the Guilty Feminist. (laughs) (laughs) I think the last 48 minutes of podcasting might bar you from the... Hey, 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 hey up, darling. Do you want to talk about me jizz? (laughs) No, no, no. I brought the Evian bottle. (laughs) Look, you can see a little marker where I hit my target last... (sighs) Ladies, I've come to pod. I do feel guilty about this. (laughs) I did, I did this on the train. <laughs> what, no one, no, I'm not proud of it. I'm feeling really bad. They will never have had a guiltier guest. <laughs> I mean, he's perfect. He's like, I'm trying to respect you. The guilty feminist. I just feel bad. I, I don't know, they're quite milky as well. Oh, God. 
I have not downloaded that, Rob. Have you enjoyed that podcast? Yeah, let's say, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'd like, you know, more power to him. I uh, just thought, you know, I thought it'd be a funny juxtaposition. That was all. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, I nearly said it for the comedic value. I didn't have any follow-up to that. I just said the name <laughs> of the podcast. I don't know anything about it, but, you know, best of luck. To I'd love to go world. on, like, a, a parenting podcast and just pretend I've got a child. <laughs> Oh, just God. talk about how easy it is. Right, oh, the, the lactation <laughs> special. You're like, yeah, yeah, I just, you know, let them do whatever they want. They seem to be doing all right. She, she's they're in the car right in, now. Yeah, <laughs> they're flying in school. A's right across the board. If they want sweets, they get them. They can have drugs. I've told them that I'm not going to stop them doing whatever they want. Seems to be working. If anything, I'm sleeping more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just drive them mad. Yeah, what about the sleepless nights? Don't know what you're on about, mate. Just put that Harry Potter on for them. Fucking knock them out. <laughs> get on that. <laughs> Night, night. <laughs> Fucking my bad. Tiny, get out. <laughs> Choke him out. I can, I can, like, I, 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 I can tell you someone I'm never fucking going back on. <laughs> I, I did some talk sport ones over the lockdown. I'm not fucking doing that shit again. Like, it was fucking awful. They literally, like, they, uh, they, they give you some cash, so that's nice. But they literally tell you your opinion before you go on. They go like, oh. so they go like, you're going to argue this. And like, I had to like argue uh, Leeds United are a bigger club than Chelsea, which is a stupid argument I don't care about. I think it's pointless. You can't measure it. Who it's a lie as fuck? well. It, it, historically, it's about even on any metric. But like, basically, all that happened was I shouted at an idiot and then I got loads of death threats. <laughs> like, and they released it in five parts and I knew no one was coming out because my inbox was just full of Chelsea fans. You've, you've got a bit of a lane going, though, as the Legi the, the yeah, Legion United comedian who can work a camera and stick it on YouTube. Like, yeah. it's like, you. I've seen your stuff, it's great, yeah. and I have no affiliation to Leeds, yeah, but you fun. nail it. Yeah, it's just like, I just started doing that as a laugh. I don't really want to be a football YouTuber at all. I just sort of started doing it because it was fun. And like, I don't think I'll do it forever because it, like, it started to become like making football work, which I don't want it to be. Football's a laugh for me. You know, it's my, my like my hobby. So yeah. uh, like, but I do the odd thing every now and again. It's a bit of fun. And like, there's a good little like community of a few people doing it. So yeah, like. That's the same know, as you, like, isn't it? You've done a bit of like yeah, the I, red men. And I stopped being a wind up with footy on Twitter because it's just, people are so... With football, they're so unbelievably ups easy to upset. Yeah, they don't like, take the nuance or the joke in anything. No, it's like, just immediately. They can be like, in the pub with their mates, and I and their mate might say something far worse than I will about Everton, for example. Mm. And they're like, "Oh yeah, what a pint!" Because it's on Twitter and written down, and from someone they don't know and don't have. Yeah, they don't associate being a human with it. You're just this thing behind the screen that they now hate. And they'll hate everything you ever do forever, because because you're one of on many videos. you're one yeah. of many football trolls yeah, yeah, yeah. in their mind that have gone before, just fucking niggling, yeah. say anything that's like, annoying. What one of Everton's players last week just been to Anglesey, had a run around, <laughs> was alleged, alleged, it allegedly. It, it hasn't. Come oh my out. god! It's been alleged. Run that faster. He shagged a fifteen-year-old. Okay, and then. But she was a prostitute, and he thought she was a prostitute, and then they've gone, ah, she's 15, give us millions of pounds, or we'll grass you up, and he's gone, no, I'm not getting blackmailed. That's apparently what's happened, isn't it? Apparently. apparently now, yeah. essentially... Allegedly, allegedly apparently, so I've allegedly. Been told. And I've said, fuck all. And that tells you how much progress I've made. Yeah, that's big, a of you, of, that's big of you, man. I've said nothing. He's yeah. been not in isolation <laughs> with the Rona, <laughs> with a and phone... I've Tell you what, man, if it was a Man U player, I would never be off Twitter. Yeah. I'd like, I, I, it would be constant. I'd Is be he a non right if he doesn't think she was 15? I mean, look, it doesn't matter in the world no, of football. Uh, it's it? one of those no, where no. technically you're an Afiba file if it's like teenagers, but if you're the person I've sang who's making those distinctions. I've Gary Neville shags his dad. He does that. And I've got a lot less evidence for that. <laughs> um, like, allegedly. It's, it, it's, imagine what Everton fans would be like if it came out. James Milner. Done this. Bit different, isn't it? No. Why? Because yeah. he's kind of integral to the club, James Milner. You, you, uh, you're I mean, you're splitting it. hairs, really, a yeah, little bit. Really. Really. Shakiri. Right. I don't think we'd be asked. You, I wouldn't be oh, asked. Oh, are you oh, fuck off. Can are I just say, I'd be above laugh? it, actually. No, I wouldn't I'd be asked. I'd be above that. I I, 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 as much as I don't give a fuck that. Either. No, you, lad, are we playing the game? Going through the squad. all over the game. He's talking Who would be the more obvious nonce? <laughs> we literally started going through players. Uh, uh, Shakiri. <laughs> Shakiri. He's got Wes He's about Jeff. the right size for kids, isn't he? He is, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's a tricky one, isn't it? Because all alleged as well. 
Yes. Yeah. I, d- I, d- I don't really bother with the, the wind up fussy stuff anymore. No. Yeah, no, I, I try. <laughs> what? As per in the last five minutes. <laughs> yeah. She wants us to do some editing. <laughs> I still, I still way clearer of that. Yeah. I, I don't even mention that he's a right, fucking right. nonce on my podcast. No, but it's different again because yeah, yeah. it's Twitter, isn't it? Written down, yeah, yeah, it's a bit yeah. like yeah. it's detached. But even when like these are like videos and stuff and people watching it, like I said on one of them, like I hated Frank Lampard that much. I was glad his goal against Germany didn't stand. And like I got loads of like flag shaggers, like, how dare you be so unpatriotic about England and all this. It's like it happened a decade ago and I'm clearly fucking about. Tell you what, I got a lot of shit on Twitter recently for for saying that I thought Christian Eriksen was faking. <laughs> well, that will, yeah, that will get some of that reaction, won't it? It was very funny. Again. Though. Of course it was. But Lad nearly died on the pitch having a heart attack. It was Mull Holland's like, God, everyone's being such pussies about it. It wasn't this. as it was happening. It wasn't as it was happening. It was well after. Like, it was yeah, weeks okay, after. Yeah. Everyone knows he's fucking fine. And I was just dicking about it. Again, yeah. but, fine? but in someone's feed, if you're know, in there, yeah. it's not like they're getting comedy, 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 yeah, comedy, yeah, comedy, yeah, yeah. and then your joke. They're getting, like, sport news. They're mates. Someone's fucking... Yeah. And then, bang, you're doing a joke, and it it's just why I don't, It's why I don't care. It's why I don't give a shit about the response, because it's not real. It's not a about me and it's not about anything like actual when they're, like they're just angry at something they've seen flash upon their the phone. words it's the words and it's not there's nothing behind it so like the people who are like making death threats because i've said something about chelsea they ain't gonna kill me like they, they, they're fucking like, fucking come at me no but you know what i mean they're just people sat at home like mouthing off it's not real it's all just yeah. pantomime in it it's it fucking totally horrible is, but it's but like it, it, it feels real at the time and people are like mm. you you do have to sort of get to a point like we me and Carl were talking at one point about using Studio 2 to start like a football thing. Mm. I don't even know how it could work to where 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 one of us doesn't get death threats every week. And uh, I, you what, will. You just you just will. If you're talking yeah. about football on the internet, you just will. Yeah. And like I get I get comments on like random videos now, like everything like you know, the be odd like Chelsea fans, but Chelsea fans in particular have really wound up. Uh and like, yeah, so that'll pop up on everything. But like it gives a shit. I, can I just suggest just from a third party Look, a cheese podcast because I think yeah. you've got that natural oh, yeah. energy. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you know, think yeah. about it. Yeah. What would we call it? We'll call it Cheddar Sound and Go to Finances. Okay. Two knobs, one cheese. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> mate. <laughs> you That's quite got some ominous. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, deliberately so, com- a little bit more so. succinct than yours, though. <laughs> two knobs, two cheese. That's worse. You've made it worse. Wow. <laughs> Adam, that's bad. It's just- well, so much better. <laughs> I've got my com. He's got his. Let's talk about cheese. A conversation that is recorded and put on YouTube and in audio platforms about cheese and an argument with my friend about cheese and knobs. Jesus Christ. Th- That's there, better. Right, there go. we go. He's back in the game now. I've He's come. back in the game. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I've come. So AJ Gregson, I'd like to go on the Jesus Christ, I've come. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot what we were talking about that. <laughs> That's what happens every single question. I'd, I'd go in your mum's house. Yeah, your mum's house is like my favourite. Like, And it's half a million fucking views within yeah, a week, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. The Are You Garbage Lads, oh, uh, the, they, yeah, that's they, funny. they followed us, didn't they? And you followed them back, which is something I never do. Yeah. Saw a few crips, uh, clips with Chrissy DiStefano. Saw, saw a few crips with him. Saw a few <laughs> crips. <laughs> you said it wrong. Fucking Pogo, um, <laughs> and they're they're very funny. And they started their podcast uh, within a two weeks of have a word. Mm. Their Patreon is almost like, uh, same yeah. amount as us, and they're getting the same sort of views. They're growing at the same time. So I gave them a listen. It's fucking great. It's, it's great, just basically it, yeah. going. It, it, if you did an English version, be like, called, are, are you scum? council? Are yeah, you council? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's, it. It's yeah. exactly that. Yeah. That's and did good. you have you ever like been to the strippers with a relative or like mm. the list of things that yes. they? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it's dead uh, good, man. Really like that. Re- are you trash? You trash. Yeah. So uh, are you garbage? Have a little look at that. Or pigoted with Freddie Quinn. Yeah, I've been on it. Yeah. Do you know what, girl? I'm joking. It's great. It's great. We're going to have to redo an advert for Freddie. I just can't. I can't. I physically cannot be nice about Freddie Quinn. I just cannot do it. I've got well. But we do own his podcast. So uh, <laughs> if you could check out Piggerted, at Piggerted Pod, it is actually doing really well. So check no, out Freddie's podcast, Piggerted. He's been working really hard. And he wanted to uh, wait till he had a few episodes uploaded till we give it a push. But he's now under the Have a Word umbrella. He's working with us. So Piggerted, go and have a look. It's about our to get a Freddy. fucking bigger umbrella. <laughs> um, he's fat. He's fat. It's because he's, he's fat. fat. He's a fat cunt. Do you know... <laughs> Trips. I didn't mean to <laughs> say it. I didn't mean to say it. Seneca yeah, and Sam mistake. tried to take me and Adam to the strippers. What? Remember when our ladies tried to take us to the strippers? 
last week. Oh, yeah. You trash. Go on. No, yeah. that's not a trash move. That's a sort of like modern, like. Yeah, no, that's yeah, a trash. Open yet. We that's what that is. That's a trash. It's oh, like, oh, we'll in. go to the strippers. It'll be fun. Why are you looking at her? Why'd you pick that one? No, it's... our girlfriends aren't like that. No, they get us a dance. Yeah. Yeah, if they were like, they wanted to. Sarah could have never been. And Sam was like, oh, let's go. But then they were shut. No, they were They were like, no. As in, like, no, ladies. My my ex girlfriend got kicked out of a strip club for touching. Yeah, touching you? No, like the strippers. She they were like, they, like they came over to me. And they were like, we never normally have a problem with the women. <laughs> yeah, she was. A, she, she fingered them. No, she like, you know, I don't know if she fucking slipped a ditch, but like straight she straight in. What? <laughs> that's not. That's not anyone's Rob, starting. I, point. I love our date nights. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. She put a fucking fifty p in her like one of your mum's <laughs> fucking bobbin apples. <laughs> <laughs> what I was just trying to tip her. Oh my god! <laughs> Fucking two pound coin there, girl. <laughs> Pull the right arm and see what happens. Welcome to Liverpool. Here's your four pound fifty. <laughs> Treating a woman like a big plastic coke bottle. <laughs> She's Ooh. on the pole, fucking rattling. Dan, when's the last time you went to strippers? Uh, oh, I'm gonna put this out there. I think the strippers is just annoying. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just, just a way to get, get yourself get very frustrated. On. Yeah. Don't touch me tits. Don't touch me fanny. You, you can have a little smell of it. <laughs> yeah. which, uh, which fucking budget, rough as arseholes, Dove Got Strippers are you going to on a Tuesday morning? You can have a little smell oh, of it. Oh, lad. No sniffing the strippers. <laughs> Well, no, like I, I had, a, I had a joke on my my first show. Did you just check your phone? Oh, like, like, Did what? you just? <laughs> <laughs> no tweets. <laughs> Fucking psycho! This is the most addicted to his phone person I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Sniffer stripper. <laughs> Two seconds. Two seconds. Adam, can you do the the motion of the sniffing? <laughs> Smell like. Oh, oh. No, but like, let's be real. That's why people are in the strip club. I had a joke on my first show, which was like, you know, if you want to know why men go to strip clubs, it's because you can't smell porn. Like that. That's why. You, that's that's the difference, isn't it? <coughs> I. The thing is, I understand why the strippers are like, we're not doing the ironic couples thing tonight. Yeah. Oh, got it totally. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. if there's a load of businessmen who are dropping tips, yeah, they yeah, don't yeah, want to yeah. see Serica and Sam be like, I can lose, I can lose. This yeah. is fun. You're all right, babe. I love your heels. Yeah, and there's some yeah, yeah. guy like, Bleh. it's it's sort of. They're the money makers. The last the time I went was when I did the Birmingham Glee. <laughs> and you know, the, uh, the beer company reps, the Carlsberg rep was right. in that night with a mate. And they were obviously on the company credit card. And they're like, we go to the Glee. We know all the managers. And I wanted to go for a beer. And the staff weren't up for it sometime. I'd been out boozing with the staff from the Birmingham Glee. So they were like, oh, you should go out with like fucking Nobed and his mate from Carlsberg. Yeah. They're like, come out, it's all on us. We went to... We would one, accept Carlsberg as a sponsor, by the way. One, well, we'd love them. But just like this guy was a bell end. <laughs> they were like, we're going to go to a bars. We're going to like... We literally had one drink in the Glee. And then they were like, ah, should we just go strippers? And yeah, I used to work with guys like that in sales. I don't know the guy. I don't yeah. know his fucking mate. We've not like had a night out, and all of a sudden we're in there, and he's more hammered than I'd realised. Got in, and they were ready to spend some money. I just wanted to have a beer and let them. And in yeah. my head, I was like, maybe we'll go for beers later. And it all just fell off the track. And the and the girl came over and was like, "Would you like a dance?" I was like, "No, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm just I'm here with those two, and they're getting dances. So I'm just gonna have a beer." She's like, "Well, why do you come to the strippers?" Why'd you come to this place? You're yeah. like, that, that, always always does me as well. that always does me. I think that always does me. I think when I go to a strippers, when they're like, obviously, I'm not. I don't, I don't know how hard their lives and their jobs are, but when they come over to you with a an lot. attitude, like, like, like I owe them. Yeah, but some days buying a dance that, off them. Like I'm in. I've paid a tenner to get in. I've paid seven quid for a warm beer. Fuck off and leave me alone. <laughs> I just want to stand here <laughs> and drink this. Why you not even want to sniff? I don't be, because I don't. It's just it's right. morning. It's the sniff zone. <laughs> I, I'm I'm fine. I just want this shite beer. I I I'm here because they they sold me this and nowhere else is still selling it. Now you fuck off over there and dance on some other cunt. Oh, the slip. Uh, and then the you end. have a little slip. Yeah, and that's the sound. I of spoke it. to a stripper about Theo Walcott once in Berlin. <laughs> and that's all true. <laughs> What was she yeah, saying, his though? potential was never quite fulfilled, was it? So we walked in the strippers <laughs> and there was about 10 of us and it was a Scottish girl. And she's like, I spoke to you. Oh, you're from Liverpool? I was like, yeah. And she went, who do you support? I went, Everton. And she went, um, Theo Walcott. Like, like the only player she knew. How random would that be if she was doing a dance like, 
Do you like that? She's so the one who... Do you like this tits? Do you think he went to the World Cup too young? <laughs> <laughs> do you think Ericsson should have taken him she's, in 2006? She's the one who bent Paul's head with the, with the uh, mummy thing. Ah, uh, uh, right, yeah. Is she the one that... Spat in his yeah, mouth. She's the one. Yeah, 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 I know this Because she was like, She spat in his, his mouth. Because she was speaking to me for like 10 minutes, about 14. She went, listen to me, you're going to get a dance. I was like, nah. And Paul went, I'll have one. And then she That changed. sums up the difference between you and Paul Smith so much. She spat in his mouth and went, mummy fucking, you like that? And for you, she was like, Theo Walcott. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she knows her audience, innit? Like, wow. He was in his Everton kit. I was in full Everton kit. <laughs> full Everton kit, boots on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's running the game in fuzzy. <laughs> You had that ball. <laughs> 5 a.m. in Berlin. You know why that's believable? Because he's always in football kit. Yeah, he's yeah. just there. She's like, don't want to dance, do I? Want to game with fucking heads and bees. Like, last <laughs> Christmas, I was, I did a gig in Leeds where, like, the, the, there was a strip club on their Christmas party. So, like, all the all the dancers, they, they were there. They are all hammered. I was emceeing, so I'd, like, chat to them, had a bit of a laugh with him. And, like, this was when I, I knew I'd really grown as a person. And uh, they invited me out afterwards to a lock-in at the strip club. And I just went home. And I was like, that is personal growth. And I know five years ago, me would have fucking hated this cunt I am now. Oh, looking at a strip yeah. club, yeah. Rob. What? Come on. Yeah. That's, you don't say no to a lock-in at a strip I club. I know I did. I turned down a lock-in at oh. a strip club, mate. I don't even I like know. strip clubs, but I, a lock-in is a I magical time. I, I can't imagine trust a lock myself in. in that environment. And I, I know who I am. I cannot be in that environment and come out with it without something bad happening. <laughs> right? I, if I, Good day to you. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was probably one of those that in a like, strip club very quickly just becomes an orgy. Yeah. Surely. Yeah. No. Why? What if I'm involved, no, lad? just getting smashed Fucking up with Fucking pints of everywhere. No, no, that's the eight-year-old that... boy in your head going, just, they've got the tits on. This nah, mate. Like, they're they're out. Out. There was they're like, out. Like... They're, they've had a long night at work. They've been dancing on people and now they're with their mates and they're like, do you know what? I want mate, eight This was their Christmas party as well and they were like, they were... <laughs> they were they were very forward these women, you know. They were they, these strippers. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Like it was forward. It was <laughs> like it was one of those where it's like that nothing good comes of me going to that strip club. Like nothing good. Who, who like, the fuck is it? They were very bashful. These yeah, yeah. strippers. <laughs> oh, would you like to have a? Oh no, I couldn't possibly show you my pussy. <laughs> Sniff that. <laughs> That's what I'm going. I'm going to open a strip club called Sniff That. If, uh... <laughs> And Adam S- teaches them all the dance. Sniff. The sniff, but don't touch. You don't want scratch and sniff. You don't want to imply that they're itchy, yeah, do you? It's really. True. That's not good branding. Snatch and sniff. There you go. Like Fanny. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Round the back's bum hole. Sniff. <laughs> Ishan wasn't this gross, was he? <laughs> Although he did piss on a police station. Uh, Niall says, all right, Lids, if someone offered you one million pounds to live on a liquid-based diet for the rest of your lives, would you do it? Or stick to your normal diet and be skint? Can I put a roast in it in a blender? It's got to be liquid. If you can make it a liquid, I think it's fine. Then yeah, be fine. For well, yeah, you've got, like, like, how yeah. much water would you need to put in a roast? To you could do it with gravy. <laughs> Yeah, look, you, you bring a Yorkshire boy on the pod, this is what you fucking get. Yeah. <laughs> That's a Nesma smoothie. <laughs> like yeah, a lamb. Yeah, but you could just like, you don't have to put it all in at once. You could just do the potatoes and then you just like, there we go, liquid potatoes, then me meat. You know what I mean? Liquid meat. Like, I, I, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Beautiful. <laughs> I, I am 100% saying no to this. Like, no, a million's not enough to ruin yeah, like, millions the rest on. of my life. And, like, I don't drink yeah, anymore. I don't enough, smoke. But I like, could do it. Food's, like, my only pleasure left. I don't go to fucking strip club parties anymore. I don't do. I don't have any fun. All I've got is food. Don't take that yeah, off me. Yeah, if you abstain from food... I've got nothing left, innit? Literally, what have you got? Yeah. Breathable air and Evian Just water. fucking protein shakes all day. Fuck that. Um, no, no, I no. could I could do this. I'm such a dickhead with food. A m- only a mil. A million. So Christmas Day comes I and did it for, fucking... I did it for nearly six months on the Cambridge weight plan. The only problem... Yeah, but then you could... I was, I was trying to lose weight, so I was I was eating yeah. food, to be you fair. You can't sustain that, though, forever. And just liquid forever. Do you remember when you... The thinnest I'd ever been was when you came to my flat and we watched the Denver Broncos play the Panthers right, in the Super Bowl. Out of hand. Uh, and my mate, my mate from Newcastle brought too much Coke down and I was and at like the absolute high height of my DJ diet. Grade as well. So I think I ended up, my, I woke up that morning like skeletal. That was the lightest I've ever been. Right, yeah, so this like, is the problem. The million pounds would be great, 
But these liquid diets are seriously... You couldn't do it because you're already thin. Oh, yeah, it fucked me up. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm actively trying to gain weight at the moment. And, like, I can't be doing that with just fucking liquids. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, like, you know, I'm just you putting on You can't put weight on. No, I can, but I've got to, like, you know, I've got to make an effort to do it, really. You like, look like a long ste. And he's doing the same. Yeah. And he just noticed that. Because it's the metabolism of these cunts. Yeah, I've got his... Uh, it has started to slow down a bit, like, you know, now I'm in my 30s. But, yeah, like, I'm just dead long and thin, in it. So, like, yeah. So, I'm just fucking scranning everything at the moment, yeah. Short and round. Yeah. Well, like, I'm going to the gym as well. I'm not, like, just, you know, just getting fat. That's your, your problem. You go in the gym, you're burning your calories off. Just are you to going gym. to the gym? I am, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Who the fuck are you, Rob Mulholland? I know, man. It's times have changed, isn't it? Like, You've changed a lot. There's yeah, been a lot of personal growth. I don't make, like all of it. I know it's weird. Like it is, it is a bit much. The last three years, it's like chalk and cheese, like pre and post. The, the don't booze, cheese. Why? Or? Come on. Why <laughs> mention cheese? <laughs> don't get them going. <laughs> don't eat chalk. Well, goats is quite a chalky cheese, isn't it? So, uh, shall we do a have a word and <laughs> get the fuck out of here? <laughs> what do you reckon? You yeah. okay? Yeah, one good? more. Yeah, one more. Always one more. It's time to have a word. With Adam and Dan. Back together. Yeah. Finn. Five words, the whole app. <laughs> Thank God he's back. <laughs> Shut up, Finn. Um, <laughs> hey, Lids, can you have a word with my neighbours? Hey, Lids. Mama. Sorry. Can you have a word with my neighbours or me if you think I'm being a dick? We live in a shitty terrace house in Runcorn, so paper-thin walls and hearing your neighbours argue is the norm. But one side, we have neighbours who are constantly having work done on the house. It sounds like they're going to come through the fucking walls and it's always after 5pm with no heads up. And the other side, I have a neighbour who has a kid I can only describe as the spawn of Satan who are constantly having screaming matches and slamming the door. The fucker's only seven. We plan... To have a massive house party at the end of the summer to celebrate all the fuckery of the last year and a half being over and we don't know whether to be considerate and let the neighbours know or fuck them and let it be payback. For reference, we are only in our 20s and the neighbours are in their 40s, so not old enough that I'd look like I'm being a cunt to old Doris. Do you know what I mean? Yes, I do. Uh, thanks for the podcast. I'm listening to the podcast so much you're turning this wool accent into a plastic scouser. That's from Samantha Randalls. So... It's got knobhead neighbours yeah, on either side. I can relate hard to this one. Payback I, I, coming. I, I have lo- I, like, I live in a like a shitty terraced house in Manchester and it's like proper thin walls and I've got like dickhead neighbours. So like, I am on board with this. So like, on one side, like um, I've got like, for the whole of lockdown, there was just like this kid who plays Fortnite all day and just screams constantly all day, every day through the wall, just hearing that. And that's the first lockdown? For the whole first right. lockdown. And on the other side, there is this, like, fucking crazy old guy. Like, the like the oldest dude I've ever seen. He's, like, so hunched, he's now, like, horizontal. Like, he looks like a fucking set square. Yeah. Like, he, like, waddles around like that, coming out to get his paper. And he plays the radio at 3 a.m. every night on the news for an hour, from 3 till 4, every single night, full blast. Three, like, and you can just hear it all through the fucking what, walls. And then turns it off at 4? At 4 it goes off, yeah. And, like, it's Radio 5 Live because I can hear it. I can follow it along. So, like, I've been going insane with these on either side, like, just for the whole of fucking lockdown, man. It's just because you're just caged up inside it and you've just got dickheads either side and just getting more and more annoyed. But, like, I think for this person, take the high road, I reckon. Go warn them and then just make a real fucking point of it that you're being better than them. Like, I was, you know, I think I, that's how I'd go with it. I don't know. Like, I, I th- at this point... If you tell them and they're like, I don't think you should do that, you're not going to not have the party. Well, if yeah, they're bellends, I think it's carte blanche to just do your fucking party. Yeah. I think the, the issue isn't the party at all. You don't tell them about the party. You need to sort of send them threatening letters in the meantime. Okay. I like, didn't, had yeah. a different... Newspaper cuttings with pictures of like dead animals and stuff and just be like... Pictures of the kids? Yeah, mm. just to take photos of the, of the kids, like, walking, like... When you different. go sinister, you really find a new, like... Yeah, but, like, you don't say anything. You don't make the threat, because then that becomes legal then. But, like, you just take a picture of their kid playing at the end of the street, post them that, where they like, some newspaper cuttings going, is this little Johnny, is it? And that's it. Post them that. I think that's still illegal. I, th- I feel like this is still not Taking okay. Taking pictures of kids is still definitely... Yeah. What would they... Oh, no, hang you. on, but they'll open the letter and be like, oh my God, little Johnny's been abducted! And then they're like, oh no, he's there. 
Yeah, and like, how are they yeah, going to... and then you send another one in a few days. Yeah, but how are they going to know it's connected it's quiet, to the noise? <laughs> what are they going to do? Oh, he sent a photo of my kids. I best turn the stereo down. What the fuck are you on about? How is it connected? Well, then you just lean over the fence one day and just be like, <laughs> hey, turn that stereo down and, you know, things might get better. And you just let that linger with them. Fair to say you've not thought oh, this one through that you could that say well. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Two letters. abduction no. letters without they need abduction. To put, they need to put it together in their head. You've we still got to live next door to this fucker after this incident's yeah, happened. Yeah, but now they well. won't mess with you because they'll know you've got a camera. Just before we... <laughs> <laughs> My phone takes pictures, don't fuck with me. <laughs> and the printer. Oh, yeah. And newspapers. Yeah. You've got money. Yeah. At least 60p in a day. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's got a news agent. Yeah. I like Make it. sure you wear gloves when you do it so you don't leave any fingerprints on any of the stuff. No. I'll tell you, like, my strategy for dealing with the noisy neighbours was to be a massive oh! fan and never say out. Oh, well, you, you send them up, both threatening letters. <laughs> from each Did other. You? Make it look like he's No, but you, you put DNA from each house. Who's DNA it? testing so, these fucking letters? Well, when they do, the they're not going to. They Who's going to? They'll, they'll think it's two doors down. The police don't do a DNA test if there's been a fucking stabbing. I don't know if you know, but how underfunded they are. They don't do <laughs> yeah, shit. They might go private. Oh, you've not lived in West Car West, West Derby. <laughs> West CSI. Derby in I said it wrong. West Carby, Carby. It's in Ireland. Uh, yeah. <laughs> don't even live there. Fucking okay, bro. Gutted. <laughs> well, I did once. I got. Uh, I got. I got. I got put in the back of a police van because. Uh, fucking Bellend. <laughs> We'd been out egging when I was a teenager. They put me in oh, the back no. of a police van and this copper came up to me with this egg cart and he'd found on the street and he was like, is this yours? And I was like, no. And he goes, is the DNA test to do going to say different? I was oh. like, are you going to DNA test an egg box? And he just sort of went, yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay then. No, but you and then you jizzed and drowned in him. <laughs> in the third letter, just put like a bit of like next door's hair. How are you getting it? What? The hair from next door. Ask them for it. In the night, go they're not going to query it. Excuse me, look, <laughs> just knocking on. Can I have a cup of sugar and some of your hair? Just ask them, can you come in and just get a bit like off their brush or something? Ask, can you use the toilet? Go to the bathroom, get some hair, put it in the next letter, and what say, if they've got a I clean house. Who this, who this is from? Check this. <laughs> Check the hairs. Arson. That works. <laughs> not in a terraced house. <laughs> like, just make sure you're out. Yeah, but your house confusing, is still fucking burning out. Confusing letters from different neighbours. <laughs> And that's how you get him. With hairs. With hairs. <laughs> We've got a hairy letter. <laughs> Where's it from? Next door. No two doors down. I'm turn the radio down. <laughs> Do you reckon we're done? <laughs> we think we might be done. Have a great have a great party. <coughs> Fuck your neighbours, Samantha. That's Just let a really it rip. good party, dude. Yeah, Bell ends. About, don't invite Rob. He's a fucking Christian. Yeah, no, now. I'm boring now. I like, I like, I'll, I'll bring vegetarian snacks. <laughs> Rob, the stripper's coming to the party. I'll be leaving. I'll best a, be off. <laughs> put a firework through their letterbox. Yeah. <laughs> Stab them in the back of the knee. Shoot them in the face <laughs> with a gun. Yeah. I don't use machine guns for faces. <laughs> Kick them in the face. <laughs> Um, please buy tickets to my show at the Edinburgh <laughs> Festival. Or give it a week and see if he's all right. <laughs> see if he's back to full normality. Um, Edinburgh Festival tickets at pleasance.co.uk. Uh, Underbelly Festival for live show tickets for Have A Word. Uh, Six the, gaslight is a pound. <coughs> the PO box, you can send some hairs in if you want to do some. Yeah, if you want to send us any threatening letters. It's <laughs> Have A Word Studio. Two for a pound. WA7. Oh, and give Piggotted a watch yeah. and a listen. Freddie's uh, putting a lot of work in and we want him to get the uh, start he deserves. And thanks for putting up with my cough. Hopefully it'll be gone by the next time we record. Robbie Mulholland, where can we find you? It's family on YouTube. It's probably the best. Uh, just search Rob Mulholland on YouTube. It's Rob Mulholland Comedy is the channel because someone else got my name first. But yeah, there's loads of shit on there. Like a couple of stand-up specials and a bunch of stuff. So yeah, that's probably and the best. And the thank you show for Patreons, as we said, if you're an OG patron... You've got up until midnight on Thursday, the 5th of August, to claim those tickets. If you are a Patreon, they will be available for you on Friday, the 6th of August at 10 a.m. And if you're an absolute muggle and you don't pay for Patreon, on Monday, the whatever, after that 6th, it's the 7th, day. Monday, the 9th of August, you'll have access then. Um, oh, there's not there's going to be no one left. There's probably Sign up, patreon.com slash have a word pod. Right, enough selling, enough advertising. Rob, it's been very fun having you on. Been a joy. Lovely having Adam and Finjamin back. We will, uh, yeah, see you next week. Been funk lettuce. Fuck off. Go ahead. <laughs>